Right. Uh, okay, let's see if I can sort this out. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> is this live? It is live. Hello, Christ. Okay, sorry, I, was, I had it facing the wrong bloody way around. That's that's a good start. Um, hello, everyone. Um, sorry, let me just actually get this up on the computer so I can uh, actually read your wonderful comments. Uh, there we have it, live now. Fantastic, it works. Uh, so, oh, 74 watching already. Hello, everyone. Um, I should probably stop talking shit then. Uh, thank you for joining me. I'm Chris from Techspert. Um, first of all, can you all actually hear me all right? Uh, fingers crossed, that's all coming through all right. Got it, easy moderation. Uh, yes, okay, somebody said yes. I'm gonna assume that was the answer to my question. I love your accent, you sound great. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, so yes, yeah, so Christmas expert. Um, this is a live Ask Me Anything. Obviously the big news tonight was the, the OnePlus 8 series launch. Um, but I just thought it'd be good to do a live stream anyway, because it's something I used to do a lot back in the Rokombu days, and it's always great to sort of have a catch up with you guys, have a proper good old chat. Uh, how am I today? I'm very good. Thank you. How are you fine people? Hope you're all coping with obviously global shenanigans that's going on at the moment. Okay, all of my phones are, of course, on vibrate, and now <laughs> everything is going to be rumbling every time I get a message through. Hello, bro. Uh, giveaway. Um, the, unfortunately, these OnePlus phones, which I have right here, ha 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 ha, are not mine to give away. In fact, they're actually going back to OnePlus in about a week's time. Uh, so I've had them, I should just introduce that, I guess. Uh, so this is the OnePlus 8, of course, this is the OnePlus 8 Pro. I've had them for just over a week now. Um, so I've had my SIM full time in the OnePlus 8 uh, ever since it came last Monday, I think it was. Um, and the OnePlus 8 Pro I've been using on the side as well, just to kind of test out the camera tech and uh, yeah, check out how the screen compares to the OnePlus 8, stuff like that. Um, so basically, uh, I've done a full unboxing, both these smartphones, that is now live on the channel. I've also done a comparison between the 8 and the Pro, um, just for anyone who missed the launch or is a little bit confused over some of the areas where the Pro differs from the 8. There's actually quite a lot of change. I know one of the things with the OnePlus 7T smartphones was the fact that the 7T was kind of so great. The Pro had a, a couple of little updates, obviously that proper full view finish with the pop-up selfie camera, all that. That it kind of made you wonder why even really bother with the Pro unless you were like dead set on having like absolutely no notch action or anything. Uh, do I have a dog? I do not have a dog. Um... <laughs> just, what what makes you think I have a dog? I just wonder if I'd left some like random shit on me. Uh, sorry, this is this room is shared with my kid, so there might just be like kitty toys also strewn about. Not mine. I just like to uh, to point that out. Um, initial camera thoughts compared with the Oppo Find X2 Pro, right? So um, let's dive straight in then. Uh, camera stuff. Uh, the OnePlus Eight. It's a perfectly fine camera, but again. Standard OnePlus, there are some limitations there. I've actually done a full comparison between the OnePlus 8 camera and the 8 Pro. I've been wait till tomorrow to sort of get my in-depth thoughts on it all. Uh, the Pro is better, HDR smart slightly uh, better improved. Uh, on, on the video front as well, they've got an HDR video mode on there, which the OnePlus 8 doesn't. So uh, it's definitely better on the video front. Um, you've got full 4K 60fps on both of them though, good image stabilization. And uh, yeah, they, they, they you know they, they do the job quite nicely on the uh, the photo front, but the Fine X2 Pro is definitely a step above uh, in low light and the rest. <laughs> I was wondering how long it would be before I got this question. Will you review the Mod Roller Edge? Um, yes, if they ever send me one. I haven't had anything through from uh, from a Mod Roller for a while. They're basically their distribution is knackered because of good old Corona. Um, so uh, what's this? Oh, somebody's giving me some money apparently. I didn't even know you could do that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, how's it going, Chris, from Limerick Island? Uh, yeah, very good, thank you. How are you doing in good old Limerick? Uh, I hear that uh, the uh, the island is not quite as shafted as the UK is just yet, but but it's getting there, so hopefully you're, you're staying safe and everything. Thank you for giving me two euros. I, how do you do that? I didn't know you could do that shit. Brilliant. If everyone wants to give me money, then yeah, feel free to do that. Jesus. I suppose I have to probably declare that with a tax man or something. Uh, any thoughts on the standard version not using DZR5 RAM? Um, yeah, so standard OnePlus uses DDR4, the uh, the OnePlus 8 Pro uses DDR5. So slightly more energy efficient, slightly better read-write speeds. I've got to say, obviously, the OnePlus 8, it rocks that Snapdragon 865. It's got 8 or 12 gigs of RAM, it'll still smash through PUBG Mobile. 
Uh, the one thing you'll see uh, in my in-depth OnePlus 8 review is the fact that for some annoying reason it tops off in PUBG at the ultra level. You can't, can only get up to 40 frames per second, so it's not exactly making full use of that excellent processor. Obviously, the, the 90 hertz display and everything. So somebody else has given me money. This is amazing. I should do this more often. Uh, thank you, Amir. Uh, would you recommend upgrading to the OnePlus 8 Pro from the Huawei P30 Pro? Love your channel. I love you, Amir. I love anyone who gives me money. More of this, please. Um, so the, uh, the OnePlus 8 Pro from the Huawei P30 Pro. Um, P30 Pro, still a really strong camera. I really like that camera tech. It is a good all-rounder. Um, obviously, the OnePlus has got the more up-to-date up to uh, processor tech and everything, so it depends how much you really want, like, the freshest stuff. Uh, somebody else has given me money. This is great. Thank you, guys. <laughs> OnePlus 7 Pro, a better buy for $450. Almost half the price of the 8 Pro. Yeah, uh, 7 Pro, if you can bag it for that sort of price. Definitely uh, still, a, still a good buy. I have actually done, as well, a full 7 Pro versus 7T Pro versus 8 Pro comparison, which I think I might be putting live tomorrow alongside the camera comparison. I've shot so many videos of that. They're going live on the channel. I hope you guys like OnePlus, by the way, because there is a lot of OnePlus videos going live these next few days, uh, by the way. Uh, for anyone who missed it as well, uh, yeah, somebody just asked about the price. Uh, the OnePlus 8 and OnePlus 8 Pro both going live in UK stores next week, a week today, in fact, the 21st. Uh, the OnePlus 8 costs £600. The OnePlus 8 Pro costs £800. Um, so yeah, there is, there's a bit of a step up there compared with previous generations, unfortunately. It's a real shame that it's now getting to that point where it's sort of upper mid-range to premium uh, compared with the OnePluses uh, back in the day. Uh, how much is going to cost the 7T Pro? It's a good, a good question. You'll probably be able to get some good deals on the 7T and the 7T Pro now that the 8's come out. Still love the 7T, that's a great handset. Um, oh yeah, rocking my official OnePlus beverage as well. Ah, delicious. So smooth. Never settle. Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys have uh, got a tasty beverage in hand as well. Stupid YouTube alarm. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but okay. OnePlus 8 Pro, $899. So yeah, uh, in the US, I believe it's basically $100 more than the, the pounds. So it'll be uh, $699 US dollars for the OnePlus 8 and then $899 for the, uh, for the Pro version. Uh, thank you uh, to whoever's just given me more money. Uh, keep up the great work. Cheers, dudes. I will do. Uh, which smartphone would you recommend which still has a headphone jack? And neither a notch nor a punch hole. Well, as we well know, the Xperia 1 Mark II, my friends, is coming out with a headphone jack. It's back in action. Thank you, Sony. And, of course, no notch because it's just got a big chunky bezel up top anyway. Um, I am hopefully going to get a review of that on the go soon. Do the Sony Xperia 5 2 rumours make the OnePlus a worse choice for a budget-ish flagship? Well, we shall see. It's certainly, I mean, even the Xperia uh, 10 Mark II, you know, that's a solid handset. It's got full water resistance. It's got a really nice display. Oh, excuse me, a bit of a bit of OnePlus gas there. Um, so, yeah, so hopefully if those Sony phones ever emerge, hopefully, fing fingers crossed soon, they, they will be uh, worth doing. Ding that notifications. You're right, Mr. Mr. Chennai Hunter. Uh, not sure if it's already asked, but about how are the cameras? Um, so, yeah, so briefly touched on them before. Basically, I, I, I do like, I think they're perfectly fine for the everyday use. You know, the OnePlus 8 and the Pro model, they both shoot nice looking photos. OnePlus 8 does start to really struggle in low light. Um, you get sort of more natural colors, weirdly, on the 8 compared with the Pro, and the Pro produces brighter images. But overall, uh, then you've got the Nightscape mode to sort of help out a bit and everything. Uh, OnePlus 8, it's a bit of a shame uh, that you don't get the telephoto action or anything like that. I really like a telephoto lens on a camera, especially now I've got a kid. It's really nice to shoot like, unintrusive photos of her you know, dicking around doing whatever so you don't have to get right in her face to shoot a nice picture and everything uh 1019 euros for the one plus eight pro 256 gigabytes bollocks to that yeah fair play <laughs> it's not a cheap handset uh yeah when you start getting to that sort of level then you're sort of right up there with obviously the premium samsung's apples all that kind of stuff uh, it is a very good handset though, and at least it's packing some of those features that were missing from previous Pro OnePluses, like of course the wireless charge and stuff like that that people have been clamouring for for quite some time, the IP water resistance. Should I buy the Galaxy Fit? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a nice watch. I mean, what, what are you doing fitness-wise these days is, is, is what I would say. I mean, I've, I've got a, uh, an exercise tracker on my wrist right now. I'll tell you how much exercise it's been tracking. Bugger all. That is, uh, that is for sure. Occasionally, I'll scratch my arse and it'll be like, have you started an exercise? Because that's literally the most energy I've put into anything all day long. Um, what else is happening? Loving your videos from Ghana. Hello to Ghana. Hope you guys are staying safe. How was the battery life on the OnePlus 8 Pro? Right, so battery life. 
Again, fully cover this in the reviews and everything, but the OnePlus 8, uh, I've had my SIM in. That does me all day long, no problem whatsoever. Um, so I've actually, I've, I've had it on charge for a bit earlier today. It's at 72% still, but usually by this point in the day, it's still at sort of 35, 40%, even if I've been streaming media, doing all my usual stuff on it. Uh, OnePlus 8 Pro, um, I haven't had my SIM in it, so I can't 100% say for sure how it will do, you know, once I do stick it in there. Um, but generally, uh, camera tech and all that kind of, lots of media streaming, it'll still, it'll still see you through the day, no problem, because it's got a bigger battery. 4,510 milliamp compared with the 4,200 milliamp, 4,300 milliamp uh, on the OnePlus 8. So, so many bloody specs in my head. And of course, today I've just done a OnePlus versus Oppo versus Realme comparison. So now I've got those specs also going around in my head. So apologies uh, if I dick any of those up. Please pronounce my name. Okay, well, this is, this is I apologize in advance because I will suck at this. But uh, Cyantan? I've got no idea if I got that right. You'll have to let me know. Um, if it, if I've completely fucked that up, then um, the, as a uh, commiseration, nobody can pronounce my surname, Barraclough, right? Even here in the UK, down here, down south, I get Barraclough every single freaking time. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, does somebody, does something like the Zenfone 6, but with AMOLED, exist? Uh, it depends what you mean by something like the Zenfone 6. So, all the other features besides the flip camera. I'm probably best off going with something like one of the Realme's around that sort of price point. Um, I think the X2 Pro, I think that has AMOLED. Uh, very nice battery life, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but obviously without the flip camera, great phone, by the way. Love the Zenfone 6. Love your accent. Greetings from Mexico. Hello, Mexico. Have a couple of tequila slammers for me, definitely. That's exactly what we all need right now. Just a nice big bottle of that. Oh, speaking of which... Uh, Chris, as both of us are UK fellow tech reviewers, do you think I should buy the OnePlus 7T or save up for the OnePlus 8? To be honest, 7T is still a great handset. It's, you know, I mean, it's got the Snapdragon 865 in it, a couple of little upgrades here and there, but it's still a great handset, that 7T. If you see it on a deal, I would say, to be honest, especially now that 8 is a little bit pricier, I don't think it offers anything particularly killer that you should go in for. You know, the 7T's still got the 90 hertz display, still strong performance, decent battery life. Um, obviously, the, the 8's got a slightly bigger battery, but... Nothing massive. How about the curved screen? Uh, yep, so you've got a curved screen on both the OnePlus 8 ugh, and the OnePlus 8 Pro. Um, I found that on the OnePlus 8 Pro, my palms tend to sort of intrude on it a little bit more. Um, I've, I haven't had this problem on the OnePlus 8, but with the Pro, certainly when I've just been doing little things like trying to mess around in the camera, I found that sometimes I've, like one of my little fingers is like straying onto the screen or something. So I'll give it some more testing and uh, definitely see uh, if I can, you know, sort that. It's probably just the way I'm holding the damn thing or something. Uh, hello to Leventis. Sorry, you've got no idea if I pronounced that right. Who's given me 400 huffs? Uh, thank you. I've got no, I've got no idea what that is. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what the huff is. But uh, thank you very much. Generous, all the same. Um, but, and I, I will keep going as, as until my beaten heart explodes inside of my chest, or I just put a, a shotgun in my mouth and end it all. But, uh, but it's all right. We're, we're gonna get through this together, guys. Uh, what, what else are we... <laughs> I love the little wavy thing from Dan Crackers. Thank you very much. Oh, message retracted. Uh, uh, hey, which one do you believe is worth more right now between the S20 Plus and the OnePlus 8 Pro? S20 Plus costs around 730 euros in my country. Ah, uh, well, the S20 Plus, it's a, it's a nice one. I'd definitely say don't bother with the Ultra. Uh, so it's just crazy expensive and who needs space zoom, honestly. Who was taking a picture for the goddamn moon in 2020? Crazy morphos. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll be huffing glue when I see this unbox, this bleeding phone. Fair play. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, if if you need to get through get through the day, man, you know there are worse ways of doing it. I'm, I'm seriously th th thinking of starting on the Swarf Eager any day now. Um, what else? Oh, I just, sorry, I thought I'd hold up the phones because it is supposed to be a OnePlus uh, it Ask me anything, so I might as well at least get them on screen for a bit. Love from Zambia in Africa. Love right back at you, Chris. Hope all is good. Uh, show us the peak brightness of the OnePlus 8. Right, okay, well, get ready for this. Uh, it is super, super bright. Let's turn off the auto. So, um, yeah, 1,100 nits, I believe it is, the standard OnePlus 8. Again, I've been using this out in the garden. Super sunshine this uh, this past week, which has been amazing. No problems with clarity. Watch a bit of Netflix, things like that. Um, let me just do this for comparison's sake. Not really any difference I've noticed between the OnePlus 8 and OnePlus 8 Pro. Pro apparently goes up to 1,300 nits. Uh, but as you can see, they're both super, super bright. So, yeah, no worries on the clarity front. Uh, let me just turn those back onto automatic so I'm not blinding you all with the rest of it. 
Uh, still have my LG V20 classic. Uh, have an LG G8 as well. Holy crap. Um, I had a OnePlus 7T and found it far too big. That's what she said. Say brewery without the B to pronounce me. Brewery. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> a little, little bit out there. That's, that's exactly the kind of, uh, of phonetics we need. Um, yeah, well, classics, LG, oh, geez, yeah, no, it's, uh, apparently they're making a comeback, they, they might, they might launch some new stuff in the UK, who knows, uh, would be good to see, uh, yeah, the, uh, the funds these days are, are too big, man, I mean, that's why it'll be interesting to see if the iPhone, uh, if Apple do come up with an iPhone 9, or whatever it ends up being bloody called, uh, 70 Pro or the OnePlus 8, uh, if you see the 70 Pro, for about the same price, it's, it's go for that, to be honest, um, super underwhelmed by the OnePlus 8 lineup. I'm not surprised, to be honest. They haven't done anything massively different. Obviously, the Pro now has a few of those features that were missing for a while, uh, including, of course, good old wireless charging and the rest. But, uh, you know, don't do anything out there that's um, crazy, crazy uh, different. Akame's skin is so pale and full brightness. Poor old Akame. Yeah, looking super, super serious right there. Uh, Realme Poco seems to be the new OnePlus are great. Yeah, well, Realme are smashing out some uh, some very interesting phones. I love the new 6 series. Go check out my phone boxings and everything. Are those, if you haven't done already, they are great little budget blowers. And, of course, then you've got the Realme... Where is it? Where is that son of a bitch? All right, we've got the X50 uh, Pro in both colours. Lovely bit of moss green, I think it is, and rust red. Not the best names, but definitely very, uh, very funky phones. And uh, yeah, they are significantly cheaper than the OnePlus 8 Pro, but still got a good bit of 5G in there. Uh, it's got a 90 hertz display and lots of other great features. Again, I've done a full comparison between that and the OnePlus 8 Pro, which will go live at some point, I think potentially next Monday. I've had to stagger it a bit, so I'm not just like, OnePlus, OnePlus, OnePlus in your faces every five seconds. Um, can you show us how dark it can get? What, the, uh, <laughs> the OnePlus 8 screens? I mean, it can get really freaking dark. No, hang on. Uh, turn off the auto brightness. There we go. There you go. Pretty dark. Not not like pitch black, because then what would be the point? But that is how dark it can get. And of course, you've got full power saving modes and all that kind of shenanigans on there if you need them as well. Uh, would you call OnePlus 8 a budget smartphone? Definitely not. No, I mean it. It was never really budget to begin with. They've done they've done a couple of budgety handsets in the in the past, but they've always been sort of like more more mid range. They like to call they don't like to be called mid range or value or anything like that. They don't like you to put a moniker on what they are, uh, but they are basically mid range. And now they're obviously pushing that upper mid range now. Um, so yeah, I'm, I can see the likes of um, Oppo, the likes of Realme, really jumping in there to try and get uh, get a a foothold in where OnePlus used to be around that sort of 400 to 500 pound mark. Uh, is 120 hertz really noticeable? Good question. Um, to my title, knackered eyes, not really to be honest. Between 60 hertz and 90 hertz, I can definitely notice a jump in the uh, the smoothness when you're flipping around menus, uh, when you know, obviously playing a supported game, things like that. Um, between 90 hertz and 120 hertz, like I, I have them side by side. I'm trying really hard to notice that the 120 hertz is better, but. So honestly, yeah, they both look silky smooth to me. So I wouldn't say choose the Pro over the 8 because of that 120 hertz. Um, high five through the screen. Much love from South Africa. High five back at you, slushy F-bomb. Great, uh, great name there, love it. Um, one plus 8 audio, how is it without the jack? Uh, both of them have stereo speaker set up, Dolby Atmos support, all that shenanigans. Um, OnePlus 8 Pro is slightly louder than the OnePlus 8 on that max maximum volume, but the OnePlus 8, I've not had a trouble hearing what's going on when I've been Skyping in the kitchen, got the full, you know, shenanigans, stirry, stirry, the things you do when you're cooking in a kitchen. Sorry, my brain is mush right now after all these OnePlus videos. Um, so yeah, they're both absolutely fine, and Bluetooth streaming, I've had no problems whatsoever with either the OnePlus 8 or the Pro on that front either. Shame there's no headphone jack, but here, huh? Uh, please compare, compare the 7 Pro to the 8 Pro. I have done that already, and it should be going live tomorrow. Don't hold me to that, but it should be going live tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, that's a tasty beer. In case anyone um, is wondering what I'm drinking, a bit of uh, Bear Island tonight, a very good brewery. Uh, so this is their East Coast Pale Ale, available from All Good Tesco's for £1.70, uh, if yours is still open. So definitely recommend grabbing a bit of that. Uh, is the screen the best that you've seen or no? Uh, it's one of these things where they've obviously thrown a lot of terminology at us. Like when I when I did the pre-briefing a couple of weeks ago, they were throwing all this JCND and uh, sorry JNCD. I want to keep wanting to say JCVD. Um, no, it's not Jean Claude Van Damme. It's ju just noticeable color difference. 
Never heard of this in my life, of course, but it's a rating of 0.4, which is apparently the best of any smartphone ever. <coughs> Sorry, a bit more OnePlus gas there. I do apologise. Obviously, that's the problem with live videos, is I can't edit out every burp and fart, unfortunately, unlike my actual videos where I'm pausing every five seconds. Um, so it's is very accurate colours. Uh, it's definitely akin to the likes of the iPhone and other uh, phones, which sort of lean on those more natural hues. Um, but uh, it's good to see that there wasn't a massive decrease in the watching now figure there, by the way. Thank you. Thank you for sticking around and, and watching a bald northerner basically burp on camera. Uh, but yeah, no, it's, they're very good screens. Um, again, can't really notice the difference between the 120Hz and the 90Hz. They're both, they're both super smooth. Uh, but they they do have on the pro version, uh, which where the hell is the there it is? Sorry, Christ, I don't know what's going on today. Um, so they do have this setting. If you go into the display, again, I cover all this in the tips and tricks, which will be going live shortly. Um, and they have the motion graphics smoothing option, which you only get on the pro. You don't get this on the standard one plus eight. What this basically does is it boosts the frame rate, as it were, of uh, any low uh, frame rate content. So anything that's at 30 FPS on the likes of Netflix, uh, Prime Video, as you can see down there, it'll boost up the frame rate, adding additional frames, as you can see here. So this is standard 30 FPS, and this is with the motion smooth and active. I've tried it on a whole heap of content uh, on Netflix. Uh, so for instance, a Fast and Furious movie on there, couldn't really notice any difference at all between it turned off and turned on. Um, but I have noticed that anything that involves panning, so wildlife documentaries were a big one for that, you can definitely notice they're a lot smoother, it's a lot less sort of stuttery and staggered, as uh, so kind of like this example here. Uh, sports, anything with a fast moving object that's going in a sort of very sort of linear fashion, uh, stuff like that, you can notice a difference, so it's it's better on that front. Um, but the rest of it, I mean, you know, the, the colour accuracy, all that kind of stuff, um, yeah, it's just as good on the standard OnePlus 8. Is there going to be a OnePlus 8 Lite, Andy W? Yeah, thank you for bringing that up. Of course, that was massively hyped up before the launch. And I think a lot of people were getting excited about that because obviously the thought of a really affordable OnePlus again, definitely very intriguing indeed. OnePlus have not confirmed or denied the existence of a Lite. Obviously, there was no mention of it today, not even a little tease or anything. It does make me wonder why all those rumours existed, though, if there isn't going to be a light. So I don't know if they're going to have a separate launch, perhaps, maybe a little bit further on. Maybe they'll do what Huawei always does, which is launch like the P40 and the P40 Pro, and then just sort of stick the P40 light just under there. Just, here you go, lads, here's a P40 light if you want it. Uh, what is Dark Mode 2.0? It's another good question. So Dark Mode 2.0 is basically Dark Mode, except it's got more app support. Um, so uh, lots of other apps that previously didn't support it now do. Also, if you dive into the settings again, and dive all the way down to, is it utilities? And then OnePlus Laboratory, uh, enable dark tone in more apps is in there now. And as you can see there, any apps that previously did not support dark mode. Uh, 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 uh. Oh God, is this my fingers intruding again? Ah, oh, this feature's only available in the dark tone. God damn it. Right, hang on. I've got this one set up in dark mode. So, sister, sorry, utilities. One plus laboratory. Uh, enable dark mode in more apps. So as you can see there, Reddit and WhatsApp, you can now get a full-on dark mode on the go. So if we then go into uh, Reddit as an example, da -da -da -da, dark mode. And that's basically it. It's, it's just more app support. There. Nothing else has really changed. Um, you can still... Uh, change the tone you can sort of tweak it a little bit but not to a massive amount uh what else have we got uh Ruri's back how's the display with Pornhub asking for a mate I, I would not know Ruri what Pornhub no never heard of that mate sorry um must must be some yeah I, I don't know I don't, I don't go on websites very often I know that, that internet stay off it kiddies it's no good uh, <coughs> Is the OnePlus 8 Pro worth it? Um, <laughs> it's good. It's a good phone. You know, again, I haven't fully tested it out because I haven't had my SIM. I've been testing out the standard OnePlus 8 because I basically figured all those YouTube cunts would go straight for the OnePlus 8 Pro and review the shit out of that. And I was like, right, well, I might as well do the more affordable one that people might actually buy if they're not like super tempted by the uh, the crazy sec. I'm oh, sorry for the C bomb as well, by the way. That's the other problem with being live and uh, and raucous is that uh, occasionally. Uh, the odds, the, <laughs> the odds where it might st slip out. So apologies in advance. How many kids do you have? Uh, just the one, thank God. God. Can you imagine being stuck in a house with more than one in, in this craziness? Tony Stark, why should I prefer the OnePlus 8 over the OnePlus 70? Not that many reasons, to be perfectly honest with you. It's got the new Snapdragon 865, uh, but you know, the 70 was a great handset. You know, I really enjoyed that. It was like, why bother with the Pro even? 
because then you've got that 90 hertz display, you've got still great performance, solid battery life. This is the same Warp Charge 30T uh, battery charging tech. Um, yeah, it's, it's still a very good phone, so not a massive number of reasons to be, unless you really hate notches and prefer pinhole cameras, but I'm not really sure why. Uh, what else we got? I like my camera, I like my camera module on the top corner. Do you have a preference? I don't really mind, to be honest. I do quite like the pinhole affairs. Um, here on the, uh, the real me's, I've got quite a chunky one, uh, with the old, uh, oh Christ, good, the old dual effort. That's, that's a bit like, whoa, okay. But, um, I, I don't, don't mind a notch or a pinhole. The only thing I don't like is on the likes of the iPhone, where you got that freaking moustache thing. It's like, why even have a notch? Just, just bar off the whole thing like Sony does. There's, there's no point on this tiny little bit in the corners. What are you going to use that for? It's fucking Apple, honestly. Uh, is the OnePlus 8 available on UK networks? It should be, yep. Um, they've only said so far that they're going to be launching on Amazon, OnePlus website, and John Lewis, who apparently went and massively leaked everything today. Good job, JL, my former company. Good lads. <laughs> uh, no homo, indeed. Uh, but yeah, it, it will be available uh, on probably like Sport 2 and stuff, and no doubt. Were there no headphones in the box or adapter? There were not any headphones or adapter in the box. So yeah, go check out my box if you want to see exactly what's in there. You do get stickers, which is where all this loveliness has come from. Um, so lots of stickers. If you like stickers, it's worth that 600 quid just for that. Uh, but yeah, no, unfortunately, uh, headphones or anything like that. So I guess they just figure everyone's got a dongle or doesn't give a shit anymore. Uh, does one plus eight support super high speed 5G? It's, yeah, you've got a good bit of 5G action on both the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro. Nice stickers, thank you. Macro versus telephoto on the OnePlus 8 and the autofocus quality. So, I mean, I just do not understand macro cameras at all. Could someone please explain this to me in the comments, actually? Because I just, I <laughs> just, I struggle. I really do. I went out today trying to get a, a decent macro photo with this thing. And um, I was actually going around the guard. I was like, what, what do I take a picture of? Like, what, what, do, what do I care? Why do I need to get two centimetres from something to take a picture of it? Um, so yeah, so I wandered around trying to find something. Eventually I found a bee that was just kind of sat there on a flower, minding its own business. And I tried taking a couple of macro shots of that. I basically shoved the phone right up to this freaking bee. And unsurprisingly, it got rather pissed off and then chased me around the garden. Uh, so thanks OnePlus. Thanks macro cameras. Not sure what the point of any of that is. Um, so I, I'm not the best one to ask on that. Uh, what was the rest of the question? Autofocus is absolutely fine. Uh, it's good if you're, you know, you're a kid running around, a pet or whatever. Apparently you can detect uh, faces on dogs and cats now as well, so you can keep them tight in focus. Um, go figure. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a, a dog or a cat, so I cannot practice that uh, personally. Uh, but yeah, no, very good autofocus on that. No worries at all. This stands against the Xperia 2. <laughs> it does indeed. Uh, Sloveless, I am a gay answer, yes. A, B, A, S, B, not what? <laughs> I've got no idea what that means, Nancy. Sorry. Um, should I upgrade to OnePlus 8 Pro from Note 10 Plus? Yes. Maybe. I don't know. Well, the Note 10 Plus is all right. It's a 24 I mean, those things are so big, man. They're so big. It makes me weep inside. I just want a small phone again. Uh, what's your daily phone? Basically, whatever I'm busy reviewing at the moment, to be honest. Um, so at the moment, I've got my, my SIM slapped in the OnePlus 8. I'm probably going to swap uh, to the OnePlus 8 Pro, get a full review of that on the go. And then next lined up is a uh, good old Realme X50 Pro. Another bit of 5G action, but only uh, 599 euros, so probably hopefully around 500 quid, so a more affordable aspect. Uh, there you go. Uh, does the standard OnePlus 8 have a curved display? It does indeed, yeah, because uh, right, right around the edges there, it's just getting nice and close. So you can see, so yeah, nice super skinny bezels, like pretty much non-existent there. Um, but and thankfully, I haven't had any palm intrusion issues or anything like that. Very nice design indeed. Touch latency of the OnePlus 8, I believe it's the same, 240 hertz. Um, can't remember off the top of my head exactly, but I've been playing PUBG on it. It's been absolutely fine. Instant reactions again, so no worries there. Uh, is the OnePlus 8 uh, S, oh, is the OnePlus 8 200 dollar increase over the 70 justified? It does make me wonder how much of it is down to the Snapdragon chipset, to be honest, because I've heard that the 865 is very expensive to uh, to stick in a phone. Hence, uh, of course, good old Google is thinking of ditching it for the new Pixel 5s and going instead for maybe the 700 series with the 5G support instead, which I think would be a solid choice, to be fair. It'd be good to see a more affordable uh, uh, flagship. Hello, sir, from Louise. Hello, right back at you. Hope all is well. 
Can I get Android 11 in my Galaxy A70s? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure uh, if you tried signing up for the the beta, she is. It'll be all good. Uh, Roger Charles has sent me PHP 50. I don't. What, you sent me some PHP. Excellent. Let's get this party started. Um, <laughs> that'll definitely work. Thanks, mate. Keep everyone safe. Keep safe, everyone. He's not asking me to keep everyone safe, thankfully, because that would be a hell of a task. Uh, yes, keep safe, safe, everyone. Hope you're all self-isolating. Good old booze will get us through it all. Let's just do a bit of a top up. Um, top anime list to pass. Oh, what to to pass the self-isolation? I mean, my trusty go-to source is always Cowboy Bebop. I'm obsessed with that one, so I will happily just literally box set that one and then go straight back to episode one and start watching it again. Uh, but I am getting into uh, Akame Gakil, I believe it's called. Uh, which is a great little anime, which uh, is where this sort of serious looking lady comes from. Uh, that's a, a damn good one as well. So if you go on the old Netflixes, you'll find it on there. And just dive on in. There it is there. Ak yeah, Akame Gukil. That's, that's been pretty good. Um, what else have I been watching? Some weird stuff, man. <laughs> There's a lot of weird animes out there. I used to be really into them, but I, I, I just don't have the time these days to, to, to box it, unfortunately. Uh, Google are probably using the cheaper set, chipset to uh, make a comeback after the god awful Pixel 4 XL. That was, yeah, those were disappointing phones, man. I'm kind of hoping the Pixel 4A and 4A XL make amends. Hopefully, they'll be great, affordable, uh, you know, stock Android. Excuse me. Stock Android smartphones with obviously clever bit of camera tech and all of that shenanigans. We will see. Can you play Fortnite? No, I can't play Fortnite. I do play PUBG Mobile. I still suck. Father Ted is better. Um. <laughs> Better than what? I mean, Fallout Z is a classic, man. Love a bit of that. Hey, Chris, how do you like the new blue? The new blue as compared to the nebula blue on the hazy blue. All oh, right, so it's, it's not actually blue. It's actually glacier green, believe it or not. I know what you mean, though. I, the first time I saw it, I was like, is that really green? I swear I'm going nuts. Because, um, yeah, like a lot of these colours that are supposedly blue, green, whatever, just whatever. Um, yeah, no, glacier green. I do actually like it. I think I prefer the lighter hue to the sort of the darker standard. But I think I was just getting a bit bored of that one plus blue, to be honest, because it was like you know pretty standard. So it's nice to have something a bit different. Although I do really, really want a nice you know red or something sexy like that. So hopefully one plus will put out a few more hues. Uh, so yeah, you'll pick one plus seventy or one plus eight. Well, again, because if you see the seventy on uh, on a good deal, I reckon go for that. To be honest, unless you're dead set on getting the eight six five. Love your videos, mate. Great humour. Thank you, Daniel, very much. Uh, what do you think of the green colourways? So it's covered that. Uh, do you send back all the phones you review or keep them? They More often than not, they end up going back to the PRs. Sometimes I try and cl cling on to them for a bit longer or get them back in for a long-term review. Um, so obviously it's good to have them keep sticking around so you can keep on testing the camera tech whenever there's an update. You can check it out, see what new features are in there, stuff like that. Um, so I do keep them whenever possible uh, for as long as possible, usually a year or so. Um, but yeah, they're not mine, unfortunately. Uh, so everyone who, who actually <laughs> gets in touch with me saying, please, please, can, I, can you send me a phone? I'd love to. I'd love to send all of you wonderful people a phone. Um, but I, I'm not literally sat here up to my asshole in uh, in smartphones, unfortunately. They, they do bugger off again. Um, so yeah. Uh, exploring with Zinc. Great, great name. Um, review the Oppo Reno 2Z. I think... Didn't I? Oh shit, no, maybe I didn't. No, maybe, I think I just, I, I unboxed it and I've tested it out and I've done a couple of comparisons and stuff, but I haven't fully reviewed it. This is correct. Um, so yes, no, I need to do a proper full on review of that. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just, such a backlog from last year. It was just getting like, bam, new phone, bam, new phone, bloody Motorola, blame them. Every other week, oh, here's a Moto G7 plus 12, light nine, whatever. It's like, oh God, leave me alone. Stop, re stop releasing new phones, Motorola, you get mm, tasty beverage what smart watch are you wearing uh this is the huawei watch gt2e very catchy name um so it's basically a slightly sportier version of the huawei watch gt2 just in time for us all to be stuck in our bloody houses so that's awesome um so it's supposed to have a hundred different types of exercise tracking and spo2 monitoring and all that it hasn't actually come it's, it's it's due to land in an update so then i'll get that fully tested out um, so yeah, it's, it's good though. I like it. I like the design. It's, it's just a shame that you can't download apps onto it. So it's very restrictive. You've got to, you know, want to use just the apps that are on there. Uh, best phone in 2020? 
it depends on your budget and what you want to be honest if you're like a power user if you want something like really top end i really like the oppo fine x2 pro that was a very good handset uh what else have i reviewed recently christ <laughs> Yeah, if you if if you want sort of a more budget you want, I really like those Realme sixes. Those are some good handsets. Uh, I'd be really interested to see what uh, the Xiaomi Mi Ten is like because I like the Note Ten. So hopefully uh, that'll be a good little blower as well. Still haven't fully tested out the S Twenty Ultra and stuff. I've got them sat there. I've used them for a bit. I'm not entirely sold to be honest. It's massive and pointless. Uh, what else we got? Why did you change from Rokombu to Techspert? Well, um, so basically Rokombu was a company, uh, well, it was a brand that I worked for. Uh, the company got taken over UK Web Media, um, so they decided to ditch the website and uh, I sort of took over the YouTube channel for a while. Um, but then I started up my own channel because it was just, it was just too restrictive. So that's why I ended up now on Techspert. So good old Rokombu, so rest in peace. I mean, it's, you know, the, the, it's still owned by someone, Rokombu, so you never know. It might uh, pop back into life again at some point. Uh, hello, hello to you, Mohammed. Uh, do you think the Red Magic 5G is worth it? Well, I'm hopefully going to get my uh, hands on that very shortly indeed. They keep emailing me, teasing me. Like every other day I get an email. I'm like, oh, maybe they sent me one. Oh, no, it's just an affiliation link thing. Great. Uh, but yeah, no, it looks like strong specs, just like previous Red Magics, hopefully for not much cash. So I reckon, yeah, those newbies as well worth checking out. Uh, does 8 Pro come with 240 inch touch sampling? Yes, it does. Is the 120 hertz as smooth as your head? I was wondering how long it would be before I got a baldy joke. In fact, nobody's commented on my eyebrows. That's a miracle. How long, how long have we gone? 35 minutes. Not a single eyebrow comment. Come on, people. I'm disappointed. But yes, first baldy comment of the night. Uh, it's it's pretty damn smooth, um, but again, I can't really tell the difference between 90Hz and 120Hz. I've tried, I've really tried. This is my knackered old eyeballs, you know. They, they, they've they they've seen some things they shouldn't have seen. They they ain't what they used to be, and that's for damn sure. Uh, what do you, uh, yeah, I've already done that one. Do you think building a PC is better than buying a PC? Um, it depends on what better. I mean, if you want very specific components, if you've got your mindset on something... Uh, you know, in particular, and also, of course, generally as a cost saving measure, because building your own PC, your own PC tends to be more cost effective than just buying it wholesale from, you know, a, a random uh, store or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I, I I haven't done it for a long time though. I used to be a proper nerd back in my teenage days. I'd sit there, you know, guess how many girlfriends I had. Sat there freaking fiddling around in my PCs, my screwdrivers, and all that, uh, all the good stuff. Um, yeah, no, I, I enjoy I enjoy a good bit of PC action. Just haven't had the time to do it, to be honest. I I barely play any games. I play uh, the Zombie Army trilogy. That's very good. I do play the uh, the new one on that, the number fours. That's good stuff. Hi from Pakistan. Hello, right back at you, sir. Um, hope all is well over there. Uh, you said Pixel 4 AXL, is that really a thing? I don't, well, this is again the thing. Rumours, <laughs> contradicting rumours. Every five seconds is a, hey, Pixel 4 AXL, here's the specs. And then the next minute it's like, oh, Pixel 4 AXL isn't happening. So to be honest, I'm more about the compact handsets. I don't really care about the XL models quite so much. So I'm not really personally bothered, uh, but we shall see. Uh, just found out you're an author. Yes. Um, <laughs> again, this was back in the day before I had children and such forth. Uh, before I was running a YouTube channel, I actually had some time to write. So I used to sit there with my whiskey and my pipe and slippers, and I used to smash out a uh, the odd crime novel or two. So definitely, you can check them out on Amazon, uh, I think Apple Books, places like that, if you want to read a uh, <laughs> not very good crime novel about northern people being mean to one another, I guess, is, uh, is, is it in a nutshell. Sony, 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 yes, don't worry, hopefully soon. I still haven't heard jack shit from those boys, but hopefully the Xperia 1 Mark II will be coming in. Are you excited for the iPhone 9? Mm, so excited. Massive trouser tent action going on right now because of the iPhone 9. Um, no, no, I mean, to be perfectly honest, sarcasm aside, I do. The SE was probably the last iPhone that I actually really enjoyed. That compact form factor, strong specs, you know, the latest up to date software, and it didn't cost an absolute friggin' fortune. You'd have to bend your granny over the table and rip out a couple of kidneys just to afford the damn thing. So that's, you know, it could be the one to steer me back onto the. The iOS shores, so to speak. Uh, hi says H four R five. Hi. Uh, will Samsung give EU the Snapdragon twenty twenty one? They're never going to do it, are they? They're going to be utter pricks and just keep giving us the Exynos version. Bastards. Not really sure why they do that, but yeah. Oh, and on brand, you will notice as well the water bottle. So I drank some of beer. My mouth's getting all sticky now. Ah. 
P40 Pro versus the OnePlus 8 Pro, please. Yeah, I'm definitely hoping to do one of those bad boys. Of course, major deciding factor between those two is do you want Google services or not? Boring, boring, boring. Uh, but the P40 Pro camera tech, very good indeed. A gorgeous screen, really love the hardware and everything. Very nice indeed. Uh, Mi Note 10 or the OnePlus 7 Pro. Oh, Jesus. Um, <laughs> I really like the Mi Note 10. I'm, f I'm so glad that Xiaomi's finally starting to sort out Mi UI and put a bloody apps drawer in there. How freaking long did that take? We're up to Mi UI 11 and finally we've got an apps drawer. Christ. Um, so, yeah, so now I'm liking the Xiaomi phones a lot more. Uh, yeah, great. Uh, decent little camera. Yeah, very strong camera tech. Um, yeah, nice and nippy, uh, good battery life and everything. Actually, the, the performance wasn't as strong, obviously, as the OnePlus is because it didn't have that latest Snapdragon 800 series, but still pretty good. Uh, oh, Matthew Player, do you care about UI? Uh, are you enjoying the Huawei Watch GT 2 e Yeah, so far, it's perfectly fine. I haven't really been able to test it out properly is the problem because I'm literally, like, my exercise regime consists of going up the stairs, coming back down the stairs, going to the toilet, coming back again. So, not exactly ideal times to be testing that stuff out. I suppose I could go out for a jog in my one designated exercise session of the day. But yeah, I like the design. Uh, battery life is friggin' great, which is uh, good. Nice screen everything. It's just the complete lack of apps on it, which is kind of a ball ache, but never mind. Any updates on the Sony Xperia? No, sorry. Sorry, fella. Uh, stay safe, guys. Bye. Bye, Frank the Animator. Cheers. Cheers to Frank the Animator. Thanks for joining me, sir. Uh -huh. Uh, is the OnePlus Oxygen OS better in use than native Android? To be honest, it's getting more and more like stock Android now. Christ, this is still really bright. <laughs> Dial that shit down. Um, yeah, no, it's actually getting more like because they've done away with the shelf, so now it's just the Discover feed. Um, so the only real difference is you get a little bit more customization here on the OnePlus, so you can you know, play around with some of this. Uh, for diving the settings, of course, you've got the gesture support and everything in there. Um, customization, you know, you can play around with some bits in there. It's so it's, it's sort of it's not too far off stock Android to be perfectly honest with you. But um, especially with the complete lack of like a proper one handed mode and everything, still for whatever reason. Um, so you know, I'd, I'd say that they're, they're very comparable these days. It's, you know, it doesn't veer massively off course. Uh, heard rumors the Pixel Five will have Exynos. Oh Christ, don't say that, please no. <laughs> Uh, what else have we got? Uh, would you recommend a Galaxy Watch or a Huawei Watch? Well, um, it depends again whether you want any apps to go with it. The Huawei Watches are of course completely self-isolating. Uh, um, so yes, yeah, so you can't download any new stuff onto them unfortunately. Uh, so it's, it depends if you just want the very bare basic sort of streamlined, uh, literally just exercise tracking and like a weather app and stuff like that. If you want to get the likes of Spotify stuff like that on the go, then obviously a Galaxy is the way to go. Where have you been getting your awesome phone wallpapers? Uh, I need to start putting links in these goddamn descriptions, don't I? I really do. Uh, so these are uh, literally just go on Google Images. This one I searched for, uh, Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex, which is what where that's from. Uh, this is from Akame Gakil. Just go on to Google Images, just have a bit of a browse around, see what wallpaper sites I can find, and just download a couple. But I'll, I'll try and remember to put uh, wallpaper uh, links in there as well. Uh, does it have an always-on display? So they've got the usual shenanigans where, um, yeah, we have to actually tap the screen or sort of raise it in order to wake up this little bit usually. And then I've also noticed I've had a, a bit of a problem sometimes when it's actually on that screen. Oi, do it, there we go. Uh, sometimes for some reason the fingerprint sensor won't actually work. You've got to stick your finger on it, it'll do the little animation, but it won't actually kick the, uh, the optical scanner into life. Uh, which is a bit weird. I've spun with the OnePlus PRs about it. Hopefully it'll just be some quirky little bug that'll get fixed really soon, uh, but we shall see. Uh, A50 versus A51, sorry, Beam Blaster. Um, I haven't got the A50, unfortunately. I've only got the A51, uh, so I can't do that for you. I haven't uh, used the A50. Uh, but the A51's perfectly fine, 300 pound smartphone. I did do a roundup recently of the best 300 pound and under phone, so go check that out if you want to see some of the rivals. Uh, that I've got the Realme 6, I really, really like. I think I probably prefer that one, the Huawei Nova 5T as well. Speaker quality is really, really good on both of these. The, uh, yeah, the P, that's the P30. The, uh, the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro. Um, yeah, they've both got dual stereo speaker setup, uh, full Dolby Atmos support, and the Bluetooth's really good as well. So no worries on those fronts. All good. Self-gam better on the OnePlus 7 Pro or the OnePlus 8 Pro. 
really not that much of a difference to be honest. Obviously you've got the funky pop-up effort on the 7 Pro which is just cute as shit and frankly I could just spend all day putting it in and out so to speak. Um, very cool indeed. Uh, OnePlus 8 Pro, that's very comparable in terms of the actual uh, photo image. Hey we can take a selfie. Hey! Um, <laughs> Yeah, video you can shoot up to full HD. Again, there's no 4K or anything like that. So, um, all good. Kill screen, yes. Favourite phone of 2020 so far. Oh, this is Glamour Gadgets and Gaming by Leah. Hello. Um, oh, what, launched in 2020? I mean, to be honest, there's nothing that's particularly, you know, set me off, so to speak. Um, yeah, it's kind of a struggle. It's, it's not been a very exciting year so far for new tech, and certainly in terms of, like, the premium... Uh, side of things, you know, you got like the Galaxy S uh, 20s, which were perfectly fine. Um, the Apple Phoenix 2 Pro I did really like, uh, but it's very expensive. Uh, of course, got that sexy four leather. I did have it lying around. I think I've put it back upstairs. But yeah, that lovely soft touch, which is very nice. Um, but yeah, no, and certainly in terms of the, the lower end, you've obviously got uh, some funky new, like the real Mi 6 and all that kind of shenanigans. So very good indeed. Anything new on the fingerprint unlock? Uh, no, it was uh, just as before. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's, they, they reckon it's a bit faster. The only thing I've noticed is that occasionally it just locks up and doesn't work, but hopefully that's just a crazy bug, as I said before. Uh, fine, Oppo Find X2 Pro or OnePlus 8 uh, Pro? Well, I've done a full comparison between those two and also the Realme X50 Pro, so stay tuned for that. A bit of a battle of the pros. Um, so, yeah, uh, hi, and uh, thank you so much. No worries. Uh, what about the OnePlus 8 Gyro? Yeah. I'll work and find, no worries on that front. Uh, if you had to buy one, which would you get? The OnePlus 7T Pro or the OnePlus 8 Pro? Uh, well, I mean, obviously the 8 Pro is the more up-to-date. It's got the you know, funkier features like the wireless charging and stuff like that, which you didn't get on previous handsets, the IP rating. Um, so I guess if they were a similar sort of price, I would go for the 8 Pro. Those are all features that I guess more demanding users would really want. Uh, I'm personally not that bothered about wireless charging. Uh, you know, I'm happy to bung a cable in it once a day. That's absolutely fine. Um, and yeah, some of the other bits. The IP, the one piece plus 70 Pro was still perfectly water resistant. So I'd be happy if you, if you see that on a deal, I reckon it's still worth it, to be honest with you. Motorized camera is so much better. Yeah, I just love the shit out of those little pop-up cameras. I could just do that all day. I suppose the only problem is if it eventually breaks and then you're basically buggered. But apart from that, all good. You are very humble. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, will the 90 hertz display be on the Samsung mid-range phone in the future? Uh, you never know. I mean, obviously the Realme 6s, 90 hertz refresh rate on a freaking 250 pound smartphone. This is bonkers. Um, so yeah, you kind of hope that Samsung would get its uh, its shitting gear and do that, but we'll see, I guess. Are you going to keep going to your keel over? Um, well, it depends how many more of these have, I guess. And I, you know, official OnePlus beer, so it's all good. More likely than not, my throat will probably give out first, because I remember I used, to, I used to do Recombu live streams back in the day, and basically would get to the point where I was just like, Ugh. so it would sound like a friggin' death metal singer after like too many concerts. Uh, so we shall see. VK, hello. Hello, right back at you. Uh, what's your actual daily driver? Are you always just using review models? 100% the latter. Yeah, just always got my SIM card. I had my, my SIM card stuck in the OnePlus 8 for the last week. I've uh, just shifted it on over to... Actually, it's not in the Pro the model. It's, it's in the uh, the Realme X50 because I was just testing out something on that. Uh, but then I'm going to shove it in this and do, do a proper bit of that as well. Uh, bye, curry ready. Got to go. Bye, Stuart. Enjoy your curry, mate. Hope it's all good. Nice bit of Vindaloo action. Love it. Uh, best compact of 2020. Have, th have there been any? <laughs> I'm, I'm struggling to think of a single compact form that's come out recently. <laughs> Depends what your definition of compact is. Sub 6.5 inches, basically. Again, maybe that iPhone 9 will be the saviour. It'll be the glorious Apple return that we're all sort of kind of hoping for. Is there a lot of performance difference between 90 and 120 hertz? Not really. As I say, if my bollocks all dies, they, they can't differentiate between those two. 60 and 90, there's definitely a jump. 90 to 120, <clears throat> who cares, really, to be perfectly honest with you. It's still, it's still silky smooth. Smooth as a buttered up Barry White. Below six inches are perfect, so that's what she said. Uh, compare iOS gyro versus Android gyro. Okay, I will, <laughs> I'll, I'll try and get onto that. Uh, I've got a OnePlus 6 at the moment. Should I buy the 7T or the new 8? Good channel, mate. Thanks. Thanks, Matt. Um, to be honest, 70 is still really, really good, unless you absolutely have to have the Snapdragon 865, I'd say, yeah, okay, go for that. Uh, when the, when's the OnePlus 8 
features like best software sends, customization video, etc. coming out. I'm doing a tips and tricks guide. It should actually, I thought probably will put that live next Tuesday, uh, which is the day that the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro actually go on sale. Um, so yeah, the how-to guide with some of the best features. The, there's not much that's really changed in Oxygen OS 10.5, which is what is on these bad boys. Um, not much different compared with previous OnePlus handsets, to be perfectly honest with you. You've got that dark mode 2.0, uh, which is basically the same old dark mode. It's just got greater support for apps such as, which I uh, briefly showed you earlier, a bit of Reddit action, a bit of WhatsApp, stuff like that. Um, you've got the motion wallpapers as well, which I'll show you guys. Uh, so we'll go to wallpapers. Sorry, I come here just for a second. I will swap you to something else. Um, so you've, you don't have much of a selection. You've basically got a bubbles one and some wavy ones. Hopefully this will uh, all be coming through all right. Let's give them a little tap and say yes. And then there we go. And they basically just kind of, oh, it's all wavy and shit. Yay. Um, yeah, I'd rather have the nerdy anime girls because I'm just a massive geek. So yeah, it's me. Um, but apart from that, to be honest, much the same, you know, you've obviously got the, uh, the swipey navigation, you've got gesture support, you've got the digital wall, you've got the Zen modes, good old Zen modes for when you just want to go, no, I hate everything, leave me alone, and, and all that. K-pop is life, great name. Uh, Find X2 Pro or the OnePlus 8 Pro, or should I keep my Oppo 10 times in? Christ, if you've got the Oppo 10 times in, it's still a, still a good handset, to be fair. Uh, but I have done a full comparison between those two, should be going live, uh, hopefully by the weekend. Dudley work with the Gcam APK. I haven't actually tested that out. I should do that. I will download a good bit of the Gcam. House tour. <laughs> um, I think my family would probably kill me if I took this camera into there and showed them. I, I, God even knows what they're doing. They're probably doing Just Dance or some bullshit like that. So um, probably not. I, I'm taking you on a tour of the, the studio, which is uh, basically this bit here. And then that bit there. And then, hey, look, there's me. Whee! And uh, yeah, there's there's all my kids stuff because yeah, I'm currently sharing a room with her. <laughs> Marine environment. I need to, I need to have all of her shit just in in a room away from everything else. So there you go. There's a t there's a tour of that bit at least. Uh, L oh god, what have we got here? What gallery app does the phone bring? Um, so yeah, so you've got the standard OnePlus gallery app. Uh, as I will show you here. So boop. There we go. Hey, there's that freaking bee again. Just me all around the garden, that little bastard did. Stupid macro lens, honestly, what is the point? Um, so yeah, so you've got the uh, the standard OnePlus gallery, uh, which of course is, uh, you've got your photos, you've got your collections, and you can have a bit of an explore. Uh, just ignore the penis drawn for some reason every time uh, I log into a phone with my Google account, that pops up, hooray. I can't even remember what this is from. Oh, it's my WhatsApp animated GIFs, apparently. I don't even know when this is. <laughs> I must have been reviewing some weird uh, camera feature, but it's probably a Samsung thing. It's probably with the uh, the S Pen or something like that. Um, anyway, sorry, what were we talking about? I, I've completely lost track. Uh, and then, of course, you've got good old Google Photos as well. And I'm just showing a picture of me with a picture of a cock. Brilliant. Um, great stuff. Hope you, hope you guys are getting lots out of this. Uh, any good phones with 5-inch display? There were, there were quite a few these days. <sighs> good luck, mate. Good freaking luck. How's it feel with OnePlus 8? It feels good, man. I do, I do actually like the um, the compact form factor, compact freaking 6.55 inches. It doesn't actually feel cumbersome to hold or anything like that. It's, it's reasonably light at 180 grams. It does feel quite nice. And of course, it's fairly slender bezels and everything. But it's still 6.55 freaking inches. Like using this thing with one hand is an absolute ball ache. Because of course you don't get a proper one-handed mode still with Oxygen OS. Come on, OnePlus, one-handed mode, please. Uh, don't you think OnePlus should also focus on uh, the gaming performance? Um, so, yeah, so you've got the gaming mode on there. Uh, for some reason, as I was saying before, the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro, they seem to be locked at like 60 frames per second. It's like Zvolto's Adventure, all that kind of stuff that supports up to 120 FPS. None of it was working for some reason, it was making me tear my friggin' it, tear my hair out. Haha, -ha, that is why I'm obviously completely bald. Hi, Mr. Sins. <laughs> is this some weird nickname I've got from you guys? Uh, hello. Um, do you have a pro cameraman? Because your video rocks, man. Smooth. Uh, no, it's, it's, not a, it's not a pro camera at all. It's just uh, one of them bloody iPhones. Um, doing the videos because it was the only phone I was actually signed in with my Textbird account. Um, so yeah, I'm glad it's coming through well. Got lots of nice lighting around which is really helping as well. 
Uh, OMG, you are so underrated on Twitter, especially just followed. And 100% feel the pin tweet too. Seems like quantity over quality for most PRs. Thank you, that's very sweet. Uh, very kind to say. Uh, just because we don't buy our subs and followers, you really don't need them. Love your vids and dedication. We've crossed paths many times. Next time, I'll definitely come over and say hi. Yeah, please do. Yeah, no, definitely. Always good. If, if you guys do spot me at an event or whatever, feel free definitely to come over and slap me around the head and say, You're right, Baldy. Good to see you. I watch you on the YouTubes. You're not utterly shit. Um, yeah, always good to see you, see you, uh, you lovely people. Um, how about the new bullets? Wireless well, said, "Will you be reviewing them?" I certainly will be. Um, fingers crossed, they'll be good. I do like the uh, the old bullets wireless, the one and the twos, uh, both very good indeed. In fact, uh, my wife still rocks the one plus one plus bullets wireless two, um, which yeah, do the job very nicely indeed. Yeah, always strong connection, good features, and affordable. You know, good audio quality. So I will be trying to review those. Uh, what else we got? Are you you're using an iPhone? Oh my God, traitor! <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> It's one of the only things I'd line around that was actually logged into my account when I was desperately panicking, going, oh shit, it's only five minutes to go. Um, LG Quad DAC versus USB-C audio. I do like that Quad DAC, gotta say. LG nailed it on the audio front with those uh, those bad boys. Strong audio quality, great, yeah, just just beautiful. Uh, yeah, no, really nice high-res audio. Um, so yeah, it would be nice to see LG make a comeback again. I, I do like me an LG phone. Certainly back in the days, like the G2, G3, those are some classic phones, man. Really good stuff. Mm. Uh, can you show the reverse wireless charging feature? Have I got anything that actually... Yeah, I mean, I guess I could... Oh, shit. Have I got anything else that actually supports wireless charging around here is the only problem. I don't think I do. Um, but I can, I can at the very least show it in the battery settings. You go into the battery modes. Here we go. And as you can see there, reverse charging, and it's just like uh, it is on the like, Samsung phones, the Huawei phones, you have to actually activate it. And then as you can see there, you can slap a watch on it, uh, true wireless earbuds, whatever you've got that supports the reverse wireless charging. And then, yeah, I've tested it out and it seems to work absolutely fine, no problems. Um, and that wireless charging, I've finally got the, um, this is the OnePlus official wireless charger, which finally arrived today. Uh, this afternoon, so I haven't had a chance to even pull it out of the frickin' box, let alone test it out. But they go, what Charge 30 wireless charger supposedly will power you up uh, to like 50% in about sort of 25 uh, minutes or so. So I'll definitely be uh, be testing that bad boy out. What else we got? Uh, suggest me good Android phone watch. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, which can record without lag under 25k. Uh, a good Android phone which can record without lag, as in just like record recording uh, video for streaming, things like that. I mean, pretty much any of them will be all right for now, as long as you've got, uh, you know, <laughs> as long as you've got a good bit of the dual bands and all that, all good. Uh, good for elderly or no, what, the Redmi 6? Oh, okay, lol. Also, is Huawei still a viable choice? Um, Redmi 6, uh, I haven't test, tested out any of the, uh, many of the new Redmi's. I need to go and, uh, smash those out, definitely. Uh, is Huawei still a viable choice? Well, I mean, it's, it depends how hooked you are on the Google services. You can still transfer over some Google apps and they will actually work on the P40s, the likes of the Google Maps, uh, was working absolutely fine. Uh, Gmail was working fine. Netflix is, is working on there as well, which is great to see, because that was one of my major sort of off-putting, uh, things, not having the Google services. Uh, it's kind of a shame not to have like the dedicated YouTube app and stuff like that on there. And obviously your choice in terms of like game and things like that is severely limited as well. But you know, you can get around it with the likes of, uh, you know, the APKs and stuff as long as you're willing to sort of tread into those slightly murky waters. Um, so yeah, well, we'll see. I, th I think they're, they're, they're going to throw a lot of money at this. Let's face it. If any company is going to come out on this other, on the other side of it, still alive and kicking it's probably Huawei because yeah they got all the freaking money in the world uh <clears throat> you look like a virgin dad laugh my ass off how is that possible I was just about to ask that very <laughs> same question uh myself uh yeah I mean I guess uh, in, uh, artificial insemination you can still be a dad without um, having actually got your dick wet uh, this, this is going in a murky direction man this is <laughs> supposed to be about the, <laughs> the one plus smartphones uh, can you do more of these live vids, please? Yeah, definitely, 100%. This is what I'm hoping to do, especially now that we're all basically confined to our houses. It's nice just to have human interaction, even though I'm literally just reading words off a screen while drinking. I mean, I might as well just, just be watching teletext or something, I guess. 
Uh, yeah, but it's still great to, <laughs> to actually speak to people, speak to people. And uh, yeah, now that I'm not actually at the events, because that's the thing, I used to do live streaming at the events, but then you'd be kind of relying on the Wi-Fi to not be shit, which it generally was, which is kind of ironic at a tech event, and the tech wasn't working particularly well. Um, but yeah, I've, I'm 100% home to do more of these, so uh, stay tuned, as long as you, <laughs> you fuckers actually want me to do it, obviously. Yeah. Bye, Foos. Bye, Bean Blaster. Hope you've had a good one. Uh, when will the OnePlus 8 be available with all models and colours in the US? Um, so I'm not even sure if all of the colours will be available in the US. I only know the UK info, unfortunately, because that's obviously where I was briefed by the UK PRs. Um, but I know certainly here in the UK, we're only getting the Glacier Green and the Mirror Black versions. We're not getting the other funky one that they've uh, they've launched. Uh, certainly not anytime soon, but hopefully soon. Hi, sir. Hello. Right at you, uh, Rahul. Uh, OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z is good. Haven't tested them out yet, but I'm definitely going to hope to get that shiz on the go. LG V60, thank you, review soon. That's up to the LG PRs, I guess. Uh, we'll see. I haven't heard from those guys in a long time. I'm not even sure if they're still alive, to be honest. Um, should I upgrade from the 7 Pro to the 8 or the 8 Pro? Well, full review comparison coming at you in the next day or two, so stay tuned for that. I use a P Smart 2018, says Andrew Porter. Mate, <laughs> P Smart 2018, that is a classic, as the name kind of implies. I really need an upgrade, cry in face. What would you recommend for 200 quid? 200 quid, uh, okay, well, uh, I'm sure you've seen my video, best sub 200 pound smartphones, uh, which you can go check out. Xiaomi got some good ones in that area. Oppo A9 2020s, around the 200 pound mark. Uh, Realme have got a couple in there as well. So you've got some some good options. Definitely go check out that vid, man. Uh, should I upgrade from the 7 Pro? Yeah, they probably already mentioned that. Will the OnePlus 8 be on you daily? I don't have a daily driver as, uh, as fucking YouTube cunts like to call it. Uh, I basically stick my sim in whatever smartphone I have to review. There's far too many phones for me to actually ever stop reviewing new ones. Uh, so yeah, so basically it's just uh, whatever's in there. Sorry, I think I just spat on the game. I'm, I'm not actually spitting at you people. Uh, it's just uh, it's just I'm northern. What can I say? It's just a natural habit. Uh, Xiaomi uh, Mi A3 is pretty good, says Techie Alpaca. Great name. I like the little, uh, the little picture as well. It's actually an alpaca. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't tested out the Xiaomi Mi A3. Unfortunately, a lot of the Xiaomi phones, they either don't come to the UK or they do come and then they never actually bother to send me one and stuff. Uh, but I'm hoping to feature more Xiaomi stuff on the uh, the channel, including the new Mi 10, so stay tuned for those bad boys. Uh, anything from Moto already for under 200 quid? Uh, yeah, Moto will do some solid stuff. I still love the G7 power from last year, G8 power this year. Slightly disappointing because it's more expensive and the battery life isn't as good, which is a real shame. Um, but yeah, they've, they've uh, you know, they've still got some really good. Certainly between the 200 and 300 pound point, uh, I love the Moto G8 Plus. Uh, does the extra 200 euros justify the better camera on the 8 Pro? Mm, not really. I mean, it is slightly better, you know, in more testing conditions. Uh, so stronger brightness, uh, it's your stuff like that. It, it definitely beats the OnePlus 8, but not to, like to a massive startling degree. Uh, and you know, at night time, you've got the night skateboard and stuff on the OnePlus 8, which definitely helps out a lot. So I'd, I'd say if, if cash is an issue, if you're actually wondering whether to spunk up the extra cash, I'd say, do you want that slightly better camera tech, that wireless charge? And, you know, it doesn't make a massive difference, I wouldn't have thought, to the everyday consumer. Uh, oh God, it's gone fast now. Uh, vibration 2.0 on OnePlus. Uh, yeah, they've both got that like, crazy haptic feedback. If you if you have it in your pocket uh, and you get a notification, you know about it, which is great because I used to be missing notifications all the time with these piss poor little... Pfft, it's like a, uh, like a firefly's fart or something like that in your pocket. But with this thing, it's like Jesus Christ. It's it's like the massive... Like a friggin' buffalo just farted in your pocket. So, yeah, that is definitely the way forward. Definitely uh, you will feel that shiz. Samsung, Apple, or OnePlus? Uh, <laughs> well, uh, I, I mean, I think most people know my feelings on Apple. Just overpriced tosh. Uh, Samsung at least put out some mid-range stuff. So at least they've got the full range. You've got the cheaper A series stuff if you do need something more affordable. Uh, and then, yeah, the OnePlus, it's starting to get more expensive. So, you know, it's, it's not quite as value-rific as it used to be, certainly. Um, oh my god, 566 of you are watching Arthur. Thank you to everyone who's tuned in. And I just say, uh, my throat hasn't quite given up yet, so I'll go on for as long as possible, even though it's been over an hour now. Hooray! Um, I might have to top up my beer at some point. Hope you've all got a tasty beverage as well. Mm. 
Is the camera of the OnePlus 8 any better than the OnePlus 7 Pro? As they both have the Sony IMX586. Mm, very comparable in terms of just the general everyday shots. So the 7 Pro did seem to be slightly better in some respects. Um, certainly like the, the HDR situations again seem to uh, seem to struggle slightly less. You do get a little bit of whitewashing occasionally with the 8, but I'd have to do a direct side-by-side -side comparison just to check um, because yeah, the, the 8's still fine. It'll, it'll suit most users. Uh, charity head buffin to raise money for the NHS. <laughs> so what, I just literally sit there while somebody rubs my head. Uh, I mean, it depends who's rubbing my head, I guess. Yeah, I'm up for that. Anything for charity? Uh, Red Magic 5G. I will hopefully be reviewing that bad boy soon. Definitely looks like a solid bit of tech indeed. Good bit of uh, value for money. Ah, what else we got? What company's software do you like the most? Um, hmm... I do like the Motion UI on the Huawei smartphones, of course, now sans Google, unfortunately. Um, but the Oxygen OS is really nice as well. It's close to stock Android. And the good thing about, about Android as well, of course, is unlike iOS, if there's anything you don't like, you just shove a launcher on there, just change it all up. It's all good. Um, so I've, I've done a few best launcher roundups and all that shiz on the, uh, the old channel. So you can check that uh, stuff out. Do I need help? <laughs> I don't even have a daily driver. I have a shelf of phones. Too many phones. Laugh my ass off. You got you got a shelf of phones. Good good for you, man. That's good stuff. Yeah, it's it's nice to have a uh, a range to, to choose from. Have you played Minecraft before? Says Cody Jade. Um, I have once. Um, when I had to write an article about it for Trusted Reviews, I thought it was several articles. Um. And it broke my brain. I'm too old for this shit, man. I'm, I'm used to just running around shooting people in the fucking face. I'm not used to mining for stuff and building things and doing all this crazy shit. Just, I just can't get my head around it. If I'm not shooting a, a Nazi zombie in the face, I'm done. I'm just done. Uh, love, love your reviews, man. Keep up the good works as flash. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, do you think the OnePlus 8 is overpriced? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of a shame to see it creeping up. Again, wonder how much of that is down to the Snapdragon 865. Uh, it's a bit of a bit of a sad, sad times that it is getting more expensive now. I hope they're not just going to end up being like nine hundred pounds, a thousand pounds, like every Samsung smartphone, and then that'll be that. Thank you for doing good reviews. Thank you very much for watching them. Um, hello, says Mike Johnson. Hello, Mike. Hope you're on the good one, sir. I've got a beverage in hand. How old are you, says Andrew Porter? You rude mother. Um, oh no, that's fine. I'm thirty-seven. Uh, Going to be thirty-eight in July. Ugh. So that's kind of depressing. Uh, and already lost, of course, most of the hair. Got the old bags under the eyes. And just tired of life, man. Just, just, I'm just done. I'm tapping out soon, I tell you. It's good old beer keeps me going. Uh, will you review Sony's new form when it comes out? I will, hopefully, at some point. I mean, where the hell is it? Your guess is as good as mine, dude. Your unboxing video tortures me to buy the OnePlus 8 Pro, says <laughs> Sam. Oh, uh, sorry. It, I mean, it is a nice phone, you know. I haven't used it as my full-time daily driver, as the YouTubers like to call it. But um, certainly the OnePlus 8, perfectly, perfectly fine handset. Shame it's crept up there in cost. But the OnePlus 8 Pro, oh, here we go. OnePlus 8 Pro is now doing the, uh, the fingerprint thing, which I was telling you guys about earlier. So, yeah, as you can see there, tap your finger to the sensor. And it's doing the funky animations, but if you look closer, you'll see that the optical sensor is not actually firing at all. It's not all lit up. It's literally just the animation doing its thing. Um, so yeah, it occasionally does this, the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro. Um, luckily, the face recognition is really good. So I can just hit the power button and I'll be straight into the uh, the desktops again. But it's, yeah, it's really frustrating. I don't know why that is. And uh, the PRs reckoned that uh, nobody else had reported it. So clearly uh, it's just both of my handsets are doing it. Uh, OnePlus 7 Pro or the OnePlus 8? If you can see a good deal on the OnePlus 7 Pro, I'd say go for that, although the 70 is still very good. Do you know if Vodafone is going to do a contract? Uh, yeah, hopefully. Um, who did they have on contract for the 70s again? Because I know they started with O2. I can't remember if Vodafone even got there. Did they get the 7 Series? I'd have to do a Google search, and uh, I, I can't be bothered. Sorry, I've had too much beer. But hopefully, they haven't actually announced their network partners, at least... As far as I'm aware, I haven't received a press release that have said anything about network partners. But you'll be able to buy it through John Lewis, OnePlus, and Amazon. Um, and I'm sure they'll be on a few uh, a few of them. Sega Power! Hey, love that Sega's. Good bit of nostalgia. Me and you got the same eyebrows, says Mr. Corner. Mr. Comer, sorry. Mr. Comer. Hmm. <laughs> uh, kudos to you and your fine eyebrows. 
Uh, the one laptop thing to your right, did you write an article in there? Right, so uh, yeah, this thing. This is actually how I got my big break in tech journalism. Um, I used to be uh, one of the reviewers on that magazine back in the day. Uh, so this is my last ever issue. They, they always used to print out a fake front cover whenever you uh, left the magazine. <clears throat> so this is mine from December 2011. Uh, back in the day, um, <laughs> just some random shit that they cobbled together. Obviously not a real a real magazine cover. Uh, but yeah, no, that was it. And then I left, and then uh, about six months later, the magazine closed. Uh, and I'm not, not saying that it was me who was holding the magazine together, but, you know, coincidence. Um, anyway, uh, first form that you had, says Andrew Porter. Uh, well, the very first feature form that I had was the Nokia... I always forget which model number it was. It wasn't one of the sort of big popular ones. It was just kind of one of the little crappy <laughs> 20 quid, whatever my uh, my parents bought me just before I went off to university, all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and, yeah, ready, ready to discover sweet, sweet booze. That's a complete lie. I grew up in Sunderland, so I was drinking from the age of, like, 12. Um, but, yeah, one of the Nokias, and then um, one of the first ones I remember really loving was one of the classic Sony Walkman smartphones, the W... 850i, I think it was. I kind of struggle with some of the names back in the day, but I loved those old Sony Walkman phones. They were great. My first smartphone that I had was the HTC Magic. That was a, a magic handset. I really loved that with the little little nubbin that you could use to sort of get the cursor about on the screen and all that. Uh, so yeah, so many fantastic handsets back in the day. Face and look doesn't work very well for a beardy long hair. No, this is true. Face and look does struggle with a bit of the old face furniture. I know this because I stopped shaving, basically, for my first week of self-isolation. And some of those uh, those face and locks were struggling a bit. Can you say hi to my wife, Sarah? She moans when I watch Toy because it then costs her. <laughs> Hello to Sarah. Hope you're well, Sarah. Uh, hope you're watching this as well. Side by side on the couch, uh, watch, watching some bald northern twat bang on about whatever. Uh, this, this will, uh, some, uh, what on earth, what? <laughs> I've got some weird shit cropping up in here, guys. What have you dudes been smoking? Whilst in quarantine, you should pull a, a sight armor and get buff. You'll look a bit like Jason Statham. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I do basically look like Jason Statham's shit weedy brother. Um, yeah, like the one who just couldn't be fucked to pick up a, a pair of dumbbells ever. Uh, no, I should do. I'm, I'm actually doing a bit of the old box VRs on the Oculus Quest. I uh, definitely highly recommend VR, actually. If you have got a bit of spare cash and you're all mental, stuck in the house all day, definitely get yourself an Oculus Quest, get yourself some box VR, some pistol whip, all of that shit, and basically you'll be dancing around your living room, be doing all this crazy shit. It's actually fun, and it sort of like helps to get some of the love handle action off. Because, uh, yeah, I've been enjoying the beers quite a bit um, stuck in my house. So it's quite nice to uh, just unwind and get some exercise, at least. Uh, yeah, that box for yours is very good indeed. Definitely recommend it. Um, what else? Salute from Norway. Or just salute. Right back at you, bro. Um, bye, says whatever. Bye, whatever. Uh, best compact phone with the best in-class camera. Ah, oh, Christ, they're just on anymore, any other. Sony needs to get back on it, man. Those Xperia XZs, they were, they were good. Is England in lockdown? Yeah, three weeks and counting, my man. Into week four. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know how much longer. And the thing is, as well, I'm bitching about this shit. You know what? I live in a perfectly nice place. I, I got Netflix. I got a PlayStation. You know, I got nothing to bitch about. Jesus Christ. What is wrong with us? We fucking suck as a species, don't we? Honestly, just like three weeks stuck in a bloody house and we're already gone stir crazy. All those bloody, uh, the Chilean miners. How long were they stuck in that frickin' mine for? It was like, it was 60 days, 69 days, something like that. Did they have PlayStation? Did they have Netflix? Did they fuck? Nope, they were just stuck there in the dark, probably munching on their dead friend's leg. And yeah, here's me bitching because I'm there with an Indian takeaway with my feet up watching a fucking bit of Bear Call Saul. It's, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I'm going a bit. I'm going a bit stir crazy. I don't know why. Uh, which is a better deal, iPhone XR or OnePlus Eight? iPhone XR, man. If if you if you need to know anything about that smartphone, uh, just go watch my long term review. It's overpriced. It's not very good. Uh, so yeah, OnePlus Eight all the way on that one. Uh, no five G in my country. Is the five G premium worth it? Uh, what is your country? Um, I mean, to be honest, like five G right now. 
not really worth it, to be perfectly honest with you. I mean, it's, it's, you know, unless you live in a massive metropolis and you absolutely insist on playing PUBG while walking down the street or something. Um, I, you know, it's, it's a future-proofing thing more than anything. If you're going to have a phone for two or three years, you know, in another year's time, it'll be rolling out quite substantially here in the UK. They'll be available in most of them. And then, to be honest, though, it's not essential. Like, the more people who get on 5G, that frees up the LTE networks, means less pressure on there. So, you know, you'll still see a speed boost anyway. So it's all good. Um, oh, shit. I just minimised my window. Christ, where did that go? There it is. Do you Twitch? Uh, yeah, I do Twitch quite, especially after a few of these, mate. Jesus Christ. You'll see the uh, the old eyelid going first. Motorola Edge Plus, yes. <laughs> I'll get on it. As soon as they bloody send me one. Motorola hasn't sent me shit. I had to buy the G8 Power. This is this is how uh, crap their, their uh, friggin' distribution has gone. I, I get the feeling that Simon Said wants, uh, wants me to uh, to answer this question. I already did. So iPhone XR or OnePlus 8. Just don't bother with the iPhone XR, mate. Best anime, Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, like Neo Genesis, close second probably, just for sheer batshit craziness. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Shave your eyebrows for the NHS issue. Oh, my good mate, Sean. How you doing, sir? You all right? Uh, regular commenter. Always has a uh, has a bit of a pop in the old quickie, quickies text per weekly. Uh, Shave your eyebrows for the NHS. Wouldn't that just look really weird? I suppose I could get my three and my four-year-old to pencil them back in again. She likes to draw all over her dolls at the moment, so she could just do that on me instead. Um, <laughs> how does the ROG Phone 2 compare to the OnePlus 8 Pro? Is the ROG Phone 2 still snappy? Yeah, that is one snappy more for that. ain't going to be slowing down anytime soon. Uh, so it's quite similar in terms of it's got, you know, obviously it's, it's the Year 55 Plus, I believe it was, compared with the Year 65, so it's, it's going to be comparable in terms of performance. Uh, lots of RAM, 120 hertz display, 240 hertz touch response rate and everything. So yeah, still shit hot. And of course, if you are going to be doing a lot of gaming, you've got, then got the benefits of the uh, the ROG phone accessories, which are great. So yeah, definitely, uh, if, you, if you're a gamer. Uh, Yakadoodle Dongi Wongi, again, fantastic name. You guys are, are really pulling it out of the bag when it comes to the naming. I got a wife, Lou. All right, your wife is called Lou. Your wife is in the Lou. Not really sure, but either way. Awesome. Uh, Modular Edge Plus, yes. Modular Edge Plus, don't worry. That will that will do at some point. Uh, best phone for camera and reliability, which isn't too expensive on contract. My mum is looking for an upgrade for iPhone 7 because it's pretty dreadful. Yeah, guess what? Those iPhones, they don't age well, do they? Mostly thanks to Apple crocking them uh, with over-the-air updates. Uh, for camera and reliability, um, I mean, it depends, again, on your sort of budget and everything. Like, Moto G8 Plus, decent camera. Nice and reliable, you know, it's it's uh, basically stock Android, does the job very nicely. And 250 quid, solid stuff. Um, you know, the real me's again, very good as well. Solid camera tech and everything on there. Um, what else we got? I like you drunk, you're very formal in videos. <laughs> Can I just point out, this is only my second beer. I wasn't literally smashing them back all afternoon. If I do a beer drunk, it probably is because I'm a freaking lightweight these days. Uh, yeah. This, this is what happens, man. When you hit those 30s, then the hangovers start kicking in. That sucks. And then when you hit sort of mid-30s, you realise that you literally have two, three drinks and, oh, you sort of feel quite fuzzy. What's going on here? Gone are the days of the, those hedonistic student uh, afternoons just smashing back pints in the student union, all the good stuff. What is the best affordable compact phone? Again, there aren't really any compact phones, man. It, it, it depends on your definition of compact. There really aren't many at all. Friggin' sucks. Uh, Nokia, now they're making some amazing blows. What do you think of the camera tech? Yes. Uh, so, I haven't reviewed any of the new ones. They should be coming in in the next month or so, uh, but they haven't expressed me, expressly updated me on when. <coughs> oh, sorry, that was a bad one. I'm trying to be subtle with these, but Jesus Christ, this this beer. This one right here, the, uh, the Citrus Simcoe. By the way... Anyone in the UK who's, who's uh, self-isolating can't get down to the shops for lots of beer. Good old Firebrand uh, Bruin, my mate Chris Martin, clued me in on this one, Mr. Tech Advisor. Uh, they, they are delivering boxes of 12 for 26 quid to your door, free delivery and everything. Uh, and they're really, really nice. If you like a nice pale ale, I definitely highly recommend them. Some good stuff. Uh, so yeah, so check them out. Sorry, uh, yeah, Nokia. Yeah, no, yeah, the cameras are all right, actually, especially for the video. They've got the Oz audio for the surround sound and all that stuff. Um, generally comes out pretty well. 
Uh, four doors are generally all right as well. It's just generally the rest of the phone sometimes lets it down. Like the Nokia 7 series in particular, the last couple, the performance has been really stuttery, especially for stock Android. It's been a real shame. Um, so yeah, see how that one goes. Hey, what else we got? What's your best Motorola phone? Best of all time? Or best right now? I guess best right now. Well, I really do like the Moto G8 Plus. I think for that sort of £250 price point, it is a solid all-rounder. Pretty good camera tech, very respectable performance, solid battery life. Yeah, just a great all-round enjoyable smartphone. Um, kind of hoping that the Moto G8 Power Lite will be the new G7 Power, as in basically under 200 quid, but excellent battery life and still respectable specs for everyday use. Um, I really like some of their more premium stuff, like the Motorola One Hyper was very cool indeed as well. Motorola One Zoom was perfectly fine for a sort of 400 pound phone. It's a shame it wasn't a little bit cheaper, uh, but again, solid camera tech. Uh, Chris, did you hear about that actress that got stabbed? Reese, what's her name? Reese Witherspoon? Has she been stabbed? What? <laughs> what? Can, so can somebody get on that shit? I can't Google stuff right now because I'm busy looking at this feed, but I, I hope she hasn't been stabbed. I like Reese, Reese Witherspoon. One of my first crushes back in the day. Very fit. Um, sorry. <laughs> Where are we going now? Uh, compact, you kept calling the OnePlus compact, it's a big phone. No, it's it's not compact, it's not by any means. It feels as compact as any other smartphone that I've played with recently, despite being 6.55 inches. It's uh, because it's basically bezel-less. There's absolutely feckle bezels on this thing whatsoever. That screen curves right around the edges, as you can hopefully see there. Um, sorry, I've got to get back onto good old Akami as well. Um, there you go. Whoop, much better. Um, so yeah, so it's, it's it's as compact as you'll get basically from any kind of sort of mid-ranger or anything these days, unfortunately. Uh, uh, yeah, which phone currently has the best camera? Oh shit. Um, probably the Huawei P40 Pro, to be honest with you. I mean, I've been testing that out. That camera is so good. Like the Huawei has absolutely nailed it when it comes to portrait shots, pictures of kids, things like that. Um, like that, that portrait shot actually is just beautiful. That subject always comes out nicely. Um, nice and crisp, really, really strong autofocus. It's crazy good. Like literally, you can have something running at you screaming and you'll be able to take a perfect shot. So it's great if someone's about to attack you, take their snap, send that off to the police if you haven't been stabbed to death or whatever. Job done. And uh, yeah, the video smart's really good as well. 4K, 60fps, uh, nice strong image stabilization. Uh, crazy Expert says, do you play any game? Uh, I do. Um, <laughs> so at the moment I've been playing, what have I been playing? I've been playing a bit of the Zombie Army 4, uh, the, the one where you shoot Nazi, dead Nazis in the face, shoot them, kill them again, go figure. Uh, that's that's good fun. Uh, I finally got Resident Evil 2, the remake, because I used to play the shit out of the original back in the day. That was like one of my all-time top five favourite games. Um, so loving a bit of that at the moment, although I've literally just made it to the police station and sort of explored there a bit. That's how little time I have for gaming these days. Uh, Nintendo Switch, though, I've been playing quite a lot of stuff on that because um, I just freaking love that thing. All the indie games on it, so much good stuff. Steam World Dig 2, I like completely, basically 100% blitz that. Fantastic game. Um, so, yeah, so lots of other times. I've, I've occasionally put, post up a, uh, an update like the best VR games as well. I've tried to keep it uh, in touch with all that. The VR stuff is actually, it's really good. As I was saying earlier, for keeping fit, shit like that. Um, really, really good. Slap it on, bit of box VR. <laughs> And uh, that'll do your job. That'll that'll burn off some of the uh, the beers and the muffins as we're all sat here in our houses wondering whether God exists and what is actually ha happening with the world. All the good stuff. Um, can a mod ban what? Oh yeah, is is this one of the dudes who's spamming a lot? There are some spammers. I don't know how to uh, how to how to ban people who are just annoying. Unfortunately, uh, I'm not very good with this tech stuff. What do you think about the Galaxy A51? That's absolutely fine for that sort of £300 price point. Few little issues. Camera's not one of the best ones out there. I prefer the Huawei Nova 5T for the camera smarts. Uh, Realme 6 Pro is really good if you want to be going that sort of price point. It's not quite out in the UK yet. Um, but, uh, sorry, I don't know what country you're from, Jacob. Um, but yeah, no, there are, there are some other good ones around that sort of price point that have better battery life, like uh, Oppo, for instance. They do some good ones like the A9 2020. Um, so yeah, so th there are other options that I think are slightly superior, but it's it's perfectly fine. It's a decent all-rounder. What do you think? Oh, I've already done that one. Stay at home, protect the NHS and save lives. Very true indeed. Um, mm -mm -mm. Is OnePlus 8 Pro best until now? Uh, 
it's I mean it's good. <laughs> it depends it depends what you what you need really. It's got it's got a respectable camera on there. It's got very strong performance, very good battery life from what I've experienced so far. Very good camera tech as well. Can't really fault the camera tech. Oh. And uh yeah, no, it's 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 very nicely designed handset as well. I know that it's it's nothing revolutionary, uh, but certainly I love that near bezel this finish. It's just big as well though, is the is the problem. It's like was it 6.78? It's it's freaking big, man. <laughs> why why do why do phones get this big? I know that I'm, I'm nearly blind. I'm like there with my Netflix, like oh Christ, what's going on? But do they really need to be tablet sized? I mean, back in the day, like the you know the tablets would be seven inches, and these things are pretty much that size now. It's mental, mental. What else we got? Best Sony phone. Oh shit, shit, son uh, of all time. I think they probably peaked, oh, I don't know, like the X, I really like the XZ2, that was a very nice smartphone, and of course they, uh, they did the premium, which is very cool. Uh, XZ3, I really liked the design of that, but I didn't think it really brought anything new to the table, the camera tech didn't really evolve, and then it sort of went downhill from there a bit. I really, really hope the Xperia 1 Mark II is shit hot, I really hope that camera tech, they sorted it out. Because that would be brilliant, <clears throat> I would love to love the Xperia 1 Mark II. We will see, though. We will see, because the Xperia 1 uh, Mark 1 was a big letdown in that area, so we, we shall see. Uh, is it curved? Oh, oh, it is curved, baby. You better believe it. Yeah, yeah, no, they are both super curved. I'll just hold them up for a bit. Um, which one would you choose between the OnePlus 8 Pro, the Mi 10 Pro, and the Oppo Reno 3 Pro? Well, I haven't played with the Reno 3s because they didn't come out in the UK yet. I think they're India and, like, Asia only so far, but hopefully soon. Um, and the uh, Mi 10 Pro I haven't played with either. Um, again, they're not out in the UK yet, but hopefully shortly. This session shouldn't be technical, more personal. Tell us the best beer you've ever had. Yeah, no, I agree. 100% happy to answer any questions, guys. Doesn't have to be techie shit. Doesn't have to be uh, one plus for it, as we've clearly seen tonight. Best beer I've ever had. Oh, now that is a tricky one. I'm a bit of a sucker for the old uh, Belgian beers, the old Deliriums, for instance, uh, stuff like that. Uh, what's the one with the little norm on it? Le Chouf? Things like that. Basically, anything that'll get you shitted after, like, one bottle is definitely a bonus. I am British, after all. I'm a bit of a cheapskate, so I'm like, you know what? If, if I can have uh, one pint and feel a bit fuzzy, job done. Uh, what I do love is going abroad to, like, Belgium and seeing a, uh, a stag group, which is always hilarious, from, of course, the UK, because where else? And uh, they all uh, go into a Belgian bar and then they start slamming back pints of uh, delirium. And then unsurprisingly, after like three, they're literally face planting, planting tables. I saw one guy just stagger off by himself into a courtyard into the night. He's probably never heard of ever again. Uh, so yeah, love that shit. Uh, yeah, don't don't slam back. <laughs> so, DJ Miserable Cunt says hello. Hello, DJ Miserable Cunt. Hope, you hope this, uh, this live stream isn't making you even more miserable. Uh, do you like Thatcher Gold? I'm not a cider fan. That's cider, right? I'm pretty sure the, the Thatchers is the ciders. Uh, not, not really a fan of the ciders, I've got to say. They ruin my throat. Um, so basically, that's the way I'm sounding right now, after 87 minutes of talking, is exactly how I sound after a, any kind of cider. It just fucking kills me, man. Plus, that shit is like 9%, right? That is like Belgian beer strength stuff. That is evil. <laughs> it's just, it's, that's just farmers trying to kill us all, isn't it, and take over the world. Uh, is there an always on display? There is indeed. Uh, but it's one of those ones where you have to sort of wake it, as it were. So if you sort of live, there we go. Um, and then occasionally the fingerprint sensor doesn't work as well. It's fun. Uh, Belgian beer! Exclamation mark. That's exactly how it should be uh, said. Uh, no, Chris, you didn't get stabbed with a spoon with a knife. What? <laughs> Oh, I see. I've fucking walked into that one, haven't I? You dick. <laughs> good, good job. For, for anyone who missed it, uh, yeah, Reese, that actress Reese got stabbed. Reese with a spoon? No, with a knife. Brilliant. I haven't actually heard that one. That's a, that, is, that is a good job, Fairfax. Give that man a, uh, a fun. Uh, hi from Argentina. Hello, Fernando. Um, that's a fucking ABBA song, isn't it? What about the OnePlus 8 launcher now with Google Feed? Yeah, they've, they've fucking ditched the, uh, the shelf. Oh, here we go again. Fingerprint sensor just refusing to work entirely. Just animation going round and round like a massive cock tease. Hang on. There we go. Uh, so, yes, so no more shelf. That's been ditched. It's just the Discover Feed. But you can turn it off if you're not a fan. Just go into the home settings and the Discover Feed is right there. 
you can knock it off and then go back in and then no more discover and then rearrange your home screen I've obviously on screen widgets and stuff to kind of replace it so if you were a fan of the shelf unfortunately not it's not there uh, oh excuse me jesus christ i need to slow down on the beers rainbow fart says i love you egg daddy uh, <laughs> i'm assuming egg is in reference to my head uh i i love you too rainbow fart thank you for watching um right what else we got here uh oh fuck me sorry my feed is fine greetings from norwich hello george did you know I used to visit Norwich very frequently back in the day? Um, I, like every other week, pretty much. A good bit of Norwich action. Uh, we used to go to the Weatherspoons there and the one slightly up the hill that was just as cheap as the Weatherspoons, uh, but actually had a TV to show sports, which was nice. Uh, so I got to see Sunderland get their asses handed to them by many a Premier League team there back in the day. Happy days. Um, and the library had some good uh, Asian horror DVDs on offer. So yeah, so that's those are my Norwich memories. And Morley's Chicken. Love me a bit of Morley's Chicken. So hello, George. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Hope you're staying safe. Savage Arfad. Heard an expletive. I'm staying. Oh, fuck. Yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I should put out a little warning again. Because it's live. We are live and raunchy. Yeah, we might say things like bum and cock and twat. And all of the good British expletives. So apologies if you are easily offended. I'm just going to wait for the watching now uh, feed to just absolutely fucking slide. Duvel beer is the best. Uh, I do like a bit of Duvel, Intrepid Fox. That is a good shout and available, of course, in your local supermarket, uh, such as Tesco. So that is good. I like me. Uh, I'll tell you what I also like. One second. Bit of uh, the lefts, I'm a fan of as well. Um, again, available in big bottle size from your local uh, Tesco, 6.5%. So one of those will uh, will see you away pretty much at the end of the night. Uh, a good choice. Did Carol Baskin kill her husband? I, I'm gonna have to show my, uh, my complete ignorance here. I've got no idea who Carol Baskin is, but I'm guessing this is probably another joke that I'm just walking into the punchline face first with. Uh, does it come with headphones? No, no headphones. Sorry, this is this, this is an actual question about the OnePlus smartphones. Uh, no, it, it does not come with headphones. Uh, there's not even a dongle in the bugger. Uh, this is a shame because, of course, no headphone jack. Nah. But Bluetooth's fine, so it's it's all right. And presumably by now everyone's got a friggin' dongle because how many phones actually come with headphone jacks anymore? Uh, cheers from Finland. Cheers to you, Jamie. Um, I'm assuming Jamie, not Jammy. I'm sorry, I suck with pronunciation. So if I if I get your name wrong on this, uh, anybody, sorry, I I I, I don't think I'm a, a brainless northerner. Everyone up there is called Sam or Ben or Bill. Um, so yeah, very <laughs> very straightforward names. Um, best supermarket question mark? Well, I mean, I do like me a bit of little or oldie, but unfortunately, I've got none around me. Here, I've got my nearest one is a Waitrose of all things, which I do like actually. It's got a good beer selection, but it is full of, uh, of either the, the oldlies or or the, the poshies. So, you know, that's a bit of a shame. Uh, San Miguel all the way. I oh, do like a bit, bit, bit of San Miguel's on a uh, nice hot sunny day, Stu. Definitely a good choice. What do you think about the Xiaomi Mi 9? Uh, I don't think I reviewed the standard Mi 9, actually, uh, back in the day. But I'm hoping to get my hands on the Mi 10 soon. So I'll check it out. You can start a bold and bankrupt style channel. You can start travel vlogs. You seem interesting to listen to because you explain very well. <laughs> uh, thank you. Um, yeah, bold and bankrupt style channel. Uh, travel travel vlogs I would love to do. Freaking hell. Do you like those jammy bastards who get paid basically to go sit on a fucking beach and eat paella? Twats. Fucking hear them. That, what, that uh, fucking Top Gear guy, he's, he's doing it now, isn't he? James May, is it? It's like, oh, your man in Japan. Here I am, here. I'm James May. I'm eating some fucking sushi and you're paying for it, you twat. Love that guy. Love him. Uh, you should try out the Rush or oh, Rushfall. No, 100%. Yeah. Uh, Method Insane. Good choice. I love a bit of that Rushfall stuff. Very good stuff indeed. <clears throat> Hi from Derbyshire. Hey, Chesterfield. How are you doing, sir? Daz KG. Hope all is good. Hope you're staying safe, sir. Um, we're going lots of, lots of lots more of what do you think about the Xiaomi Mi 9. Um, yeah, again, I don't think I've, uh, I've probably... Re Is it the Mi 9 Pro, the Plus or something? I, I lose, lose track of them all, to be honest. There are so many Xiaomi phones. Now, Jesus Christ. 
Uh, the Mi 9T, that was the one that I reviewed. The Mi 9T, that was it was a decent handset. Again, like it depends how you get on with the Mi UI. You know, so a few little quirks in there, but now that they finally got the App Store, do uh, get on with it a lot more. Oh, here we go. Rob 2 used 12, 512 gigabytes USD, 770, dollars. That is pretty solid. Um, yeah, I would say go for that to be honest. Um, that is a, a very good smartphone, super performance, great battery life. And uh, if you're into gaming, of course, you've got all the accessories and stuff, which is uh, great to see. Uh, so I'm now on a dark firebrand, good old firebrand again. Anyone in the UK who is desperate for booze, uh, can't get down to the local supermarkets, you want to stay self-isolating, get on firebrand. Uh, 12 beers delivered, £26. Absolute bargain. This is the Impy Stout. Look how dark that is, Jesus. Yeah. Got to get stuck into that one. Uh, what's next? Uh, hey man, says Mim. Hey Mim, hope all is good. We got uh, Andy in Somerset. Hope, uh, hope all is well in Somerset. I suppose at least if you're in a uh, in the likes of Somerset, hope you can take a nice stroll outside and not actually see any other people, which is always a bonus. Motorola the flagship phone? Question mark? Question mark? Question mark? Um, yes, indeed. Uh, no response from them whatsoever on that side of things. Hoping they'll get something on the go soon. And no, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't got anything on the Motorola Edge yet. Uh, so, yeah. It's so glad you fell for the Reese with the Spoon joke, you think. <laughs> no, fair play, mate. That was a good joke. That was a good joke. Um, so, yes, thank you very much. Oh, shit. Somebody gave me 10 euros. Fuck it. Here's some cash, mate. Love the channel. <laughs> Method hits in. Thank you, sir. I don't even know. I didn't even realise this was a thing. Apparently, you can pay me. So, yeah, if you, if you want to just throw money at me just for basically drinking beer and talking shit, then, hey, who, who am I to complain? Definitely not. Your tech friend says, best and worst phone of all time. Mm. I've got to spill a bit there. Jesus Christ, that's embarrassing. Uh, best and worst phone of all time. That's kind of hard because, obviously, a lot of phones were great at the time. Um... And I absolutely love them, but in, in sort of retrospect, they're kind of not not quite so good. Uh, one of the worst ones of all time, some of the stupid ones that they've come out with, like Samsung's, what was it? That friggin' uh, the camera phone that was basically a camera, but you could make calls on it. That was just, oh, that was awful. The Galaxy Zoom, I want to say, uh, something like that. It was a big, clunky, it was like, it was the size of a friggin' DSLR pretty much. And it's like, oh yeah, I'll just slip that in my pocket and then look like I've got a massive wedge on for, you know, when I'm walking down the street and then try and pull it out. Except you can't actually get out of your pocket because bits are sticking in there. Great, you know, pretty decent for taking shots. I think it was one of the first phones to ever have a 10 times optical zoom, I think it was. It was either five times or 10 times. It was pretty impressive, but it's like, but then you're also carrying around a massive fucking wedge in your pocket. So that's not great. Is the fingerprint sensor on the 8, 8 Pro any faster? Yeah, it's, it's, it's debatable. They reckon it's like 30% faster or something, but mm, they're pretty fast these days. The optical sensors have improved quite a lot. These They used to be shite back in the day. I used to have to like register my print two or three times uh, each time just to try and get it to actually unlock. And uh, yeah, not amazing. I think mobile phone manufacturers are overdoing the size of their products. What is your opinion? Yep. Yeah. I mean, I'm a big fan of those compact handsets. I used to love doing the best compact phone roundup every year because I love a good compact handset. And I've got to say, I'm, I'm scraping the barrel a bit when it comes to recent compact phones. I'm still putting in the Sony Xperia compacts from like two, three years back because this is how few compact phones we have. It would be great to see a bit of a flip reverse and yeah, some more miniature handsets I can actually handle and uh, with my miniature little fucking dwarf hands and, and not actually, you know, fuck everything up. That would be good. Interesting glass, yes. It was my official one OnePlus branded uh, glass. So if you haven't seen my unboxing, you do get lots of stickers in the OnePlus 8 Pro and the standard 8 box. So you can decorate. I'm not really sure what you're supposed to decorate. I thought pine glass would be perfectly appropriate for a live stream. And then I'm on brand. Uh, what do you think about the Realme X2 Pro? Still haven't reviewed the X2 Pro, unfortunately. I do keep pestering them to send me one, and uh, unfortunately I haven't got around to it yet. Uh, but I've got the X50 Pro here, and also here, and they are very nice. I do like them so far. They're definitely a more affordable 5G option. Uh, they're sort of comparable, again, to the standard OnePlus 8. Very affordable 5G. Um, but I'm going to be doing a full comparison between that, uh, so definitely check that out. Uh, do you do fishing? And if so, 
Is it worth a Nokia 3310? As all of us all folk think they're unbreakable. Uh, Love from Blackpool. Oh, you're from Blackpool, sir. <laughs> My commiserations. <laughs> got, you got a lovely uh, bit of Pleasure Beach action there, of course. Great stuff. Um, I do not do fishing, unfortunately. I, I live in uh, sort of London area, so I'm nowhere near... Unless I wanted to go fishing in the Thames, and then all I would probably catch is herpes, to be honest. So, yeah, that's probably not going to happen. Uh, do you shine your head with butter? Well, that's a good idea, actually. That would give me a nice sort of glittery finish on there, wouldn't it? That would be lovely. Very luxurious. Uh, no, unfortunately, I do not uh, butter my head. Uh, it's just naturally shiny. What can I say? It's uh, it's probably that Timothy that I slap on there uh, a couple of times a week. Uh, is the Rug Phone 2 good as a daily driver compared to the OnePlus if I'm not a heavy gamer? It's a perfectly good everyday phone, but I'd say it's a bit excessive if you're not going to be doing any actual gaming because it does look like a gaming smartphone, as in it looks like a fucking UFO that's folded up into some sort of compact transformer mobile phone form. Uh, and it's heavy and it's probably not the most attractive, but it you know it's got great performance, great battery life. It, I would happily use it as an everyday smartphone. Uh, you know, it's, it's certainly a good one. Uh, the camera's not amazing, obviously, because that's low priority as far as the game and stuff goes. But it's not shit, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, I'd, I'd say look elsewhere, probably, if you're not in, massively into the gaming. Ah, what do you think about Premier League? Any chance it's going to finish? Liverpool will have to wait for the title. I mean, I've got to admit, I I am find it slightly hilarious that, <laughs> that the Scouts were so close to winning it, and then everything's basically been shitted up. Um, as, as a Sunderland fan, I mean, Christ, I only know too well, like, if we came anywhere near to winning anything, and then it got fucked right up the ass by something as ridiculous as this, then I would be absolutely fuming. Um, yeah, I do miss the footy, I do miss the footy, even though I'm a Sunderland supporter, as obviously I don't step anywhere near the Premier League most of the time. Um, but yeah, it's, it's it's kind of weird, it's just not many football, not even having, having like the uh, the Euros or whatever to look forward to. This summer, it's just weird. It's really weird. Yeah, I've, I, <laughs> like, what, what, what are they showing on Sky Sports at the moment? It's just like literally reruns from like the nineties, which is probably entertaining enough because of the ridiculous kits and hair. Like those kits are Jesus Christ, they're fucking flags. They're like <laughs> down here, with the crazy sleeve, baggy shit, all that stuff. Massive sideburns, love it. Classic bit of nineties action. Uh, what, we, what else we got here? Chris got the P44 launched it, but I've already returned it. Felt like it was going to be making too many compromises. Yeah, lack of Google services is a shame. Massive shame because while we've been killing it since the P24, they have. They've been absolutely smashing it, which I wouldn't be surprised sort of paid a bit of a, a part their their uh, unfortunate uh, demise in America and everything. Uh, they were absolutely killing it, for sure. But I reckon they'll be back, back on top soon enough. Well, not quite on top, maybe, but at least competitive again. Xbox or PlayStation or Switch? Personally, Switch, because you've got the flexibility of being able to play it in bed uh, when the missus passes out and all that. It's quite nice to have uh, yeah, the, the, the portable aspect. I've got an Xbox, I've got a PlayStation. I literally only turn them on to play DVDs uh, for, for the sprog, slap on a bit of Doc Book stuffings or whatever. That's the only time they get any play, man. I just don't get the chance otherwise. Um, yeah, no, I'm all about PC and uh, the Switch. Good shit. Switch, so many good indie games. Definitely check it out. I watched your review today, says Owazo. Uh, your last Tech Weekly, I was about to ask you, shouldn't do phones from China. Let's hear that rant again. Oh my God, everything is made in China. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> I was like, why are you still featuring these Chinese manufacturers in your, your stream? Fuck China. Rah, rah, rah. It's like, no, not really, guy, because everything is made in China. That's, that's kind of how the world works. And kind of harsh, you know, not featuring any Chinese smartphones just because the virus originated in China. That, yeah, this, it's not China as a whole's fault, let's face it. That would be ridiculous discrimination, so let's not do that. I can scratch a mas matchstick at your head and burn fire. He he he. Yes, you probably could. I'm not, I'm not sure you're getting a friction, actually, to be honest. I'm, I'm starting to even run out of stubble up there. So you'd probably try and strike a match, and it would just, just do nothing. <laughs> Fireflies fart again. Uh, what's your best phone? Best phone of all time? I don't know, man. Again, it, it depends on what you want. There are some seriously friggin' good phones out there. Depends on your budget, what you need. 
Um, so, you know, one of some of my favorites are genuinely the like the real me stuff. Uh, that sort of two hundred three hundred pound price point. Some of the Oppo stuff's really good. Xiaomi as well. Um, they've got some great handsets out there that are just as good as some of the more premium tech. They might not have like the super duper features like the wireless charging and stuff, but they are still pretty solid. And like three hundred quid, you know, you still got plenty of beer money. Hooray! It's always a bonus. Uh, will you review the PS5 and the Xbox Series X when they come out? I hope so. If they bloody send me one, I will review the shit out of them, that's for sure. And by review the shit out of them, I mean basically set them up and play about 20 minutes of a game and then my daughter will come in and she'll punch me in the balls and tell me to put Just Dance on. And then that'll happen. And then I'll spend three hours dancing to Old Town Road uh, like a twat. So yes. <laughs> a little, little behind the scenes uh, there for you. Hey brother, please speak my name, uh, Gagandeep. Oh, Jesus Christ. Is, is that another? <laughs> am, I, am I just face planting all of these uh, friggin' jokes here? Gagging deep. Yeah, that sounds like a, a porno name. <laughs> uh, hello, what will be the price of the OnePlus 8 Pro? 12 gigabyte RAM variant. Uh, okay, so the OnePlus 8 Pro 12 gigs, so that was 899 UK, I believe. So probably about a grand US, I'd imagine. Uh, around that sort of general ball and park. Uh, Rob Brand is your wrist, wristwatch. This is a Huawei, uh, the Huawei Watch GT2e. So it's the most sporty brand. I've done a full unboxing on the channel, so go check that out for all you need to know. Uh, but basically, it's a, uh, yeah, it's a slightly more sp sporty version of the GT2. It's more affordable as well, which is good to see, because uh, it packs most of the same hardware. Uh, it doesn't have the built-in speaker, though, which I forgot to mention in the unboxing. I got a, a massive digital slap on the wrist for that one. Uh, where did you get your beer from again, uh, Andy? So this is the uh, Firebrand Brewing Company. You can find them online and they will deliver a box of 12 beers to you for 26 quid. And I should be sponsored by these motherfuckers because that's like the third time I mentioned them now. <laughs> Shout out to the Firebrand Brewing Co. Firebrand.co.uk. Um, yeah, no, it's it's good. It's good stuff. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm f This one by itself is, uh, this is a killer one right here. The was it Impy Stout? Impy Stout. Jesus. My head is starting to feel a little bit fuzzy now. This is some some really... <laughs> How strong is this one? Oh, shit! <laughs> this is why I'm feeling fuzzy, because it's 9%. Okay. This is like proper Belgian strength stuff. Great. Uh, okay. I should probably call it night right soon-ish, then, because I'm already starting to get a little bit like... Ugh. Can't read the comments as well as I used to. Uh, cheers, says Andy. Yeah, cheers. Cheers, Andy. And cheers to everyone else. Thank you very much for joining me on this OnePlus uh, 8 Ask Me Anything, which has en ended up not really being much about the OnePlus 8. It's mostly just me banging on about shit, but uh, always good to have you fine folk along. Thank you very much for, for joining me. Almost 600 people. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Love you guys. You you guys are the best, man. What's your best laptop? Says Barker. Well, again, it depends what you want. If you want a gaming laptop, then I like some of the uh, Asus for public gamer ones. They are shit hot. Uh, in terms of just general everyday creator stuff, functionality, love the Dell XPSs. They are fantastic. Like, fuck the MacBooks. Just get yourself a Dell XPS. Brilliant laptops. Fantastic battery life. Gorgeous design. Killer performance. Beautiful screen. Just they'll do everything you want. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Lap laptops in a nutshell. Uh, will you be reviewing the iPhone SE 2020? Says Lego. Oh, Lego Daniel. Hello. I've uh, seen you crop up on the uh, the Textbook Weeklies before. Um, yeah, or iPhone 9 or whatever stupid name it ends up getting. Hopefully, um, I'll have to buy it or get it from a carrier because Apple won't send it to me because they hate my guts. Uh, they literally won't even respond to my emails anymore because uh, I, I give them critical reviews rather than just gagging on their balls like most of the YouTubers do. Uh, so yeah, but I, I will 100% begin on that like, because the iPhone SE was the last one I actually genuinely enjoyed. It was good. It was compact, solid specs, good software. Well, good software. It was up-to-date software. I mean, obviously, it depends on your feelings on iOS. I think, uh, yeah, we probably all know my feelings on that one. What's the, the best wireless charger for the iPhones and the AirPods Pro? Uh, well, you can even uh, charge them on the back of the OnePlus 8 Pro uh, with its full Qi-supported wireless reverse charging. So you could do a bit of that if you wanted to, if you wanted to be particularly plush. Um, otherwise, oh, I believe the uh, the Apple one costs you, uh, it's only three kidneys, maybe four. So yeah, just get, get your relatives together, stick them all together on the dining room, just uh, you know, give them a bit of the old uh, rehypnol or whatever. 
and then just yeah just <laughs> rip them open send that shit off to apple you'll get an uh, an iphone charger in return job done uh will you ever do twitch gaming oh christ nobody nobody i'm surprised that anyone's even watching this to be honest <laughs> It's bad enough me just banging on about shit, let alone gaming at the same time. If you if you want to see me getting schooled by eight year olds, uh, at any kind of because that's inevitably what happens. Yeah, yeah, we could probably do that. Um, do you think the telephoto lens would have made more sense than the macro lens of the OnePlus Eight series? Yeah, it's kind of a shame you got the macro lens of the OnePlus Eight. As I said before, I literally went outside, took a picture of a bee, pissed it off because I had to hold the phone about two centimeters away to do it. It's like, look, right now I've got a, a fuzzy picture of a bee and almost stung to shit. So I, I do not get the point of it. Can, if anyone does support the macro lenses, then definitely let me know in the comments. It'd be great to uh, to hear some positive comments about macro lenses. I seriously do not get the point of them at all. Uh, what about laptop reviews? Can you do camera or laptop reviews? Yeah, I do laptop reviews. Um, just go check out my channel, which you're watching right now, and you'll see some laptop reviews in there. I'm trying to get more on the go, but I'm, I've been out of the game for a while since my glorious What Laptop days. Uh, that was, unfortunately, almost a decade ago. Um, so I've lost uh, touch with lots of the PRs and stuff used to dish out uh, that stuff. But yeah, I'd, I'd love to do more of that. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for more, especially on the game and, and all of that. Love from India. Hey. Hey, Tarika. I'm good, thanks. How are you doing? Hope, uh, how are you guys doing in India? I'd imagine, certainly in the built-up areas, it's probably a nightmare at the moment. Uh, I've got no idea if you're in full-on lockdown or what, but yeah, no, stay safe and everything, obviously. Uh, Simon says, if you was designing the iPhones for this year, what would you do differently? <clears throat> oh, Christ, do you want the full list? Um, so I would definitely do, basically, the new iPhone SE. I will do another compact handset. I put a good screen on it. I'd give it a decent process. It doesn't have to be the latest. The uh, what's the A friggin' eleven they're up to now? <laughs> it gets so confusing with the Apple terminology. Uh, but you know, something that respectable. Even the A ten is like perfectly fine. Um, I you know obviously the latest iOS and stuff. Unfortunately, because you can't really get around that. Uh, respectable camera tech. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't need to be anything crazy. Just you know, just put a, a, one of the recent lenses on it. And just make it, you know, 400, 500 pounds so at least people can afford it. Because every time I get people asking me which iPhone would you recommend or like, oh, I've seen this great deal on this iPhone. It's an iPhone 7 Plus or whatever. It's like, that's from like three, four years ago. And they still cost 30 quid a month on contract. It's mind blowing. It really is. And yeah, the people, you know, I can understand that you get, you, you get pulled into the whole Apple ecosystem. I perfectly understand. I've got friends who literally, they will not buy anything other than a MacBook because they're so used to using the macOS software and everything. And it's just like, no, don't spend two grand on a macOS laptop. When, you know, just little things like the Bluetooth's not gonna work. Or, you know, it's like, oh, why? Why spend all this money? Ah, uh, anyway, if we're sort of going off on a <laughs> tangent now, uh, Godwin says, uh, I love your channel. Thank you, Godwin. Thank you very much for joining us, sir. Hello from Hampshire. Hello, Hampshire. Um, what else? We've got South Africa. Hello from, uh, hello to South Africa, rather. Hope you guys are enjoying some lovely weather. Uh, my parents originally uh, came from uh, South Africa and they loved the shit out of it. My mum loves telling me how great South Africa is. And uh, how much it sucks that I wasn't brought up there. So that's that's always great to hear. Yeah, I love hearing about the barbecues and the uh, and all the and all the good times. Um, yeah, <laughs> Chromebook or Intel Atom fourteen inch for uni. Uh, it depends what you're going to be doing again. Like Chromebooks are great if you're just going to be working online. I do like taking a Chromebook out if I'm going to be out all day. All I'm going to be doing is the Google Docs and all that kind of shenanigans. Uh, yeah, they're, they're perfectly good for all that. If you want to be doing anything more heavy, like video editing or anything like that, obviously they're quite restrictive because of the Chrome OS. Um, but yeah, no, I think uh, certainly Acer and Isus have put out some really good affordable Chromebooks, so they are good. Uh, they are good ones. Uh, yeah, obviously it's a nightmare in India. Testing in India is uh, the lowest, and Indian PM is a drama queen. Yeah, that 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 Indian PM. He seems like a bit of a crazy morphal. <laughs> he's uh yeah he's, he seems like almost like one of these tv celebrities like almost a kardashian or something who likes to uh to appear on screen and just kind of be a little mini celebrity without actually sorting out any problems or anything but to be fair 
We've got Bojo as OPM. We've got Mr. Trump in the US. I think this this is the way it's going, basically. I wouldn't be surprised if the Kardashians do eventually run for government and then get it. And then, yeah, everything's going to fucking die and be horrible. Um, so thank God for booze. Um, how long do you get to keep the funds for? Uh, generally not very long. These bad boys are going back in a couple of weeks' time. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to try and smash out all of the content. But, yeah, if you guys were actually here waiting for me to talk about the one plus hit smartphones, we kind of covered that back at the start of the live, Ask Me Anything. Now it's kind of descending into talk about beer and just general bullshit. Uh, but, yeah, there are lots of uh, coverage on these bad boys coming up in the next uh, several days. Uh, so tomorrow I'm home to get a camera review and comparison up between the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Just so you can see what the, uh, the differences are between those bad boys. Uh, and I'm also getting possibly another comparison up as well. Possibly the Pros, the OnePlus 7T Pro versus the 7 Pro versus the 8 Pro. All of the Pros, big old Pro fisty cuffs. So stay tuned for that. Uh, and what else are we getting up? And then Thursday, probably the full OnePlus 8 review. And then um, between the weekend and next week, I'll try and get the Pro review up. Uh, got a comparison with the Oppo Find X2 Pro and the Realme uh, X50 Pro as well. And tips and tricks guide going live next Tuesday when the OnePluses actually go uh, on sale. Hooray! So lots of good stuff. So I hope you guys like OnePlus because it's going to be a shitload of OnePlus coming your way. I love how honest you are. It's like looking in the mirror, says Simon. <laughs> Oh God, I hope it's not like looking in the mirror for your sake, mate. Seriously. Uh, the Amex 50, it's, uh, sorry, 586. Primary camera used on the OnePlus 8 is last year's same camera sensor. Why such a poor choice by OnePlus? I guess because it's dependable. Um, obviously, a lot of it is based on the camera software as well as the hardware. Uh, the 586 is a perfectly good choice for, you know, your everyday dependable photos and videos. It's obviously uh, been used on a lot of smartphones. Um, and they've proven that it can work. Um, but yeah, no, it's kind of a disappointment, especially when they've jacked up the price, which again, I think is down to the processor tech more than anything else. Uh, they want to stay really, really, uh, you know, uh, modern with uh, the processor tech. They want to make sure they've got the latest tech in there. So yeah, no, it's, it is a shame that they've, they've jacked up that old prices. But um, what's we've got the IMX 586 primary camera. Yeah, no, we've got that, yeah. Would you ever do a Dell Inspiron review? Oh, Christ. Uh, yeah, no, I'd happily do a Dell Inspiron review. I do like the Dell laptops. They are good. That's some good shears. Is the 7T a better buy over the 8 since they are identical? I mean, they're close to. Obviously, slight differences. You've got the 865 on the 855, etc. But, um, yeah, no, I'd say the 7Z. Certainly, if you see it on sale, 100% go for that because that is a great little handset. Loved it. Uh, recommend low budget phone for PUBG Mobile. Have I got the video for you, sir? Um, I've done the best budget phones for PUBG Mobile, uh, which is the phones with the best display tape, best performance, battery life, etc. Go check that out. I'll show you everything you need to know. Uh, can you check if the display has a green tint when setting the brightness completely down? 70 had this problem too. Um, I haven't noticed a green tint, to be honest. I mean, I haven't really have the, uh, the brightness all the way down because I haven't needed to. Um... But there you go. There was a screen with the brightness all the way down. It just looks dark to me. But then I've got knackered old eyes. So hopefully that'll, <laughs> that'll help. I guess it kind of looks a little bit grainy, but not like seriously green. Just like, that's just because it's dark, dude. I mean, you can change the color temperature as well in the uh, in the display settings. I'll fiddle around with all of that. Um, so it sort of stuff starts off with a, uh, a vivid mode active, but you can uh, bump it up to uh, some of the more, like the sRGB gamut and stuff like that, if you want that perfectly natural feedback. What's going to be new on the 8T? Well, this will be interesting to see. I mean, I'm assuming they're not going to jack down the price anymore. It's going to stick it around that sort of £600 price point. Um, so I'm guessing it'll once again come with the 865 or maybe the 865 Plus if they, uh, they spunk that one out in the Qualcomm labs. Um, probably not a massive amount. I can't see them really going beyond 90 years. I think they might bump it up to 120, but I don't really see the point, to be honest. Hopefully, just better camera tech. Hopefully, they'll just slap on the pro camera tech so you'll get a proper telephoto lens and a few of those bits on there. Maybe a nice bit of 689 action. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> Can smart can smartphones with Snapdragon 865 come without 5G modem to cut costs? Yeah, they can. Um, so yeah, so the 865 doesn't actually have a 5G modem built in. It has to come separate. 
uh, which is uh, probably one of the reasons why it sort of bumps up the price a little bit. Although there have been 865 handsets with 5G support for around the sort of £500 price point, so we'll sort of see how that goes. Hey, what else we got? Hello from Nigeria. Hello. Hope you guys are doing good. I uh, love the sound of Moto's flagship. Oh, yeah. Good bit of Moto action. How we love them. <laughs> I hope the ET will have 120 hertz. Yeah, I mean, I personally, I can't tell the difference really between 90 hertz and 120 hertz. They all look silky smooth to me. All good. Love from India. Love right back at you, bro. Uh, which one do you prefer, the S20 Ultra or the OnePlus 8 Pro? OnePlus 8 Pro, probably, because the S20 Ultra is crazy expensive. It doesn't really offer much over the S20 Plus, like Space Zoom, really. That's the best you can do. Space Zoom. <laughs> the, I mean, let me, let's face it. The only reason I have Space Zoom is, A, if you're taking pictures of the freaking moon, which is just weird. Why would you do that? If you want pictures of the moon, go to NASA.com. They've got some really good pictures of the fucking moon from space. It looks really good. Got some nice, you know, like AK detail and everything. Just like some shitty, oh, it's the moon, right? Here we go. On Facebook is the fucking moon. Have you seen the moon before? Um, no, the only real reason for Space Zoom is, let's face it, spying on your neighbour through the window, doing, yeah, Mr. Motivator, fucking Lycra, yeah, just, just, no. We don't need Space Zoom. We do, we do not need Space Zoom. What phone are you looking forward to? Uh, probably the Pixel 4 is, actually, in a kind of a slightly masochistic fashion. I'm kind of hoping that they're going to be like the 3 is, like, just really, just like, whoa, okay, this is great, like, strong specs. Really good camera tech for that sort of £400 or under price point. And hopefully not shit battery life. That would be good as well. Uh, Christ, there are still so many of you watching. Why? Why? Why are you... <laughs> not, not that I'm saying you should go off and do something else. But honestly, why, why are you watching me? Um, but yeah, that's fine. Throw, throw your comments in the uh, in the comments thing. And I will try and bash through as many of them as possible. Gone for two hours. Holy shit. What time is it? Oh, fuck me, yeah, it's, it's half eight. Christ, this is what self-isolation will do to you. You just lose all track of time. It just doesn't mean anything anymore. Hey, Chris, says Andrew. Sorry I missed most of this. Had to set up my desk for homework, and what have I missed? Nothing, mate. Just me smashing back some freaking beers. Have you, oh, you probably haven't seen my gorgeous OnePlus glass. On brand, never settle, so smooth. It is actually really smooth as well. Oh, that's the other thing you missed, is I've basically been... Uh, being Firebrand Bruins uh, UK sponsor for the night, despite not actually getting any money from them. They sent me beer, but I paid for it. Uh, but yeah, it is good. 26 quid a, uh, a box, free delivery. Uh, Lego Daniel 1 says, we love you. I love you too, sir. <laughs> Hi, Christ. <laughs> I mean, I'll take that. You know, it is Easter time. Resurrection. I think, to be fair, though, if I was Jesus Christ, I'd probably give myself more hair. He had a proper, full-on, luxurious flow and uh, mullet back in the day. I was loving that. Any phones coming out with MediaTek, MediaTek Dimensity 5G chip soon? Not that I know of. Certainly in the UK, we haven't had any press releases through of any new stuff. Would be good to see, though, because apparently it's very good. Although MediaTek, of course, have been in the headlines for potentially uh, balking their benchmarks a little bit. So... Maybe they're not quite as good as expected, but we'll see. We will see. Uh, Goldie Roger says, hello. Hello, sir. Uh, when would we expect budget 5G smartphones? Probably very soon, to be perfectly honest with you, especially now that you've got the Qualcomm 700 series, which supports it. I reckon sort of £400, you'll see a few 5G phones flying out in 2020. Yassine says, you pissed? Uh, I mean, to be honest, I did not realise before I cracked this open that it was 9% abbreviation <laughs> no alcohol uh, by volume obviously not abbreviation uh yes uh, i think i'm getting there to be honest with you it doesn't take much these days i am 37 i'm getting to that point where literally a couple of pints and i'm asleep in front of homes under the hammer so yeah i'm surprised i'm still standing to be honest with you i'm, well, I'm more leaning actually to be perfectly honest with you uh, do you think we'll ever see air power <laughs> I love how that sort of thing. When did that first get launched? 2017? I can't even remember now. Jesus Christ. Um, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't hold your breath, mate. I, I wouldn't even yeah, sit sit there just like fingers crossed or anything. Yeah, I, I think that's done. What do you prefer, Xbox or PS4? Uh, well, I, as I previously mentioned, I do have both and I basically use them for occasionally slapping on a bit of Doc Mech stuff into my four-year-old. I don't really do much gaming on them anymore because it's just like the chance 
Because you know you can get a bit of PC gaming in. Nintendo Switch is the way forward. But the old flex you can sit there, your wife's watching Grey's Anatomy, stick on the headphones, do a bit of the indie gaming job done. Pixel 4a, what we're seeing up against the new phone, uh, new iPhone SE slash 9. Uh, yeah, no, that'll be a good little battle. Hopefully, the Pixel 4a shiz will do uh, really well. We will see. Uh, Sorry says, hi, big fan of you. Big fan of you too. Thank you very much for tuning in. Is the OnePlus 8 worth money? Uh, it's it's a, a strong market these days, shall we say. And of course, the fact that the OnePlus is bumping up in uh, in, in cash as well, it's just, it's just getting crazy now. Like, on, like 600 quids, that's getting into the premium territory now. I always liked the OnePluses when they were around sort of £450-ish and still had the very late specs, the very late Snapdragon and all that. That was the, the way forward, definitely. So it's a real shame that they are starting to uh, to bump it up now. I still, I reckon in the next year or so, we'll start to see Oppo, Xiaomi, Realme really push into that territory, really get a lot of really solid 400 to 500 pound smartphones out with that top end premium tech. And Asus as well, actually. I'm really hoping that their Zenfone 7, if it comes this year, will be just as strong as that Zenfone 6 because that was one of my favourite phones last year. That was a frigging great handset. Um, Xperia 1 2020, well, yeah, fingers crossed that'll be coming soon. Thinking of getting a new TV, I was thinking of getting an LG C9. What TV do you have, Chris? Uh, I've got a, uh, a Cello 4K smartphone, UK UK made. I've, I, I know nothing about TVs, to be honest with you. I don't really watch a lot of TV. I don't really get the chance, to be perfectly honest. Uh, it's literally for my kids to, uh, to watch Disney Plus on. That's pretty much it. So, yeah, do not ask me, sir. Um, can you recommend a low-spec, thin and light for uni? No heavy workload, just ling a linguistics major. Dude, if you're linguistics, don't even bother with a friggin' uh, laptop. <laughs> just spend all your money on booze. That's what I would do. Jesus Christ, linguistics. <laughs> no, fair play. It's a, it's, a good, uh, it's a good degree. But yeah, you, you all need a fucking light. Fuck it. It's got the library. Get out a couple of books. Write down some shit. I don't even know what. <laughs> I, I did a shitty AI degree. I, I was just fucking there, just programming a robot to go around a fucking maze. Ah, uh, Xperia 1 Mark 2, how was the 90 hertz screen when you tested it for a short while? I didn't really get a chance to properly test out the 90 hertzness. It's certainly flickering through the menus, all that kind of stuff. Nice and smooth, as you would expect. Uh, but they also said that they are doing a similar thing to what OnePlus has done and what Oppo did with the Find X2 Pro and everything, which is where they upgrade the frame rate on uh, material on the likes of YouTube and Netflix and just uh, bump up the FPS rate so it looks a bit smoother. Uh, haven't had a chance to properly check that out, so stay tuned for the uh, the full review. How are you still alive? I don't know. I will be leaving soon because it has actually been over two hours now, which is fucking mental. My throat is starting to go now, as you can probably hear. Probably not helped by the 9% impy stout. So thank you, Firebrand. Ah, uh, just bought something with Firebrand, you need affiliates, lol. Thank you, David. Uh, I don't know why I'm thanking you, because <laughs> I'm, I'm not being sponsored by the fuckers. <laughs> but yeah, they should be thanking you. They should be thanking me. They should be sending me free beer. If anyone from Firebrand Brewery is watching right now, send me beer. If anyone who's not from Firebrand Brewery is watching right now, send an email to Firebrand Brewery and tell them to send me beer and point them in the direction of this goddamn video. And yeah, they, they need me that shit. Uh, love from Bosnia, love your videos. Thank you very much, Anon. Very, uh, very appreciated, and thank you for watching. You're a legend, fueled by beer. I, I literally am right now as well. Jesus Christ, this stuff is is everything is going fuzzy. That's why I should probably toddle off to bed very shortly, even though it's only half past eight. This is uh, about as uh, solid as I am right now. One plus Z? Question mark? 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 It's a lot of question marks. Uh, yeah, um, no sign of a one plus Z, so um, yeah, <laughs> to answer that ish, highest performance phone. Well, the ROG phone 2 last year 100% was the highest performing phone, that thing was fucking mental. Snapdragon 855 Plus with like a gazillion gigabytes of RAM, um, that was some good shit. Um, these days, obviously, you've got the 865, so any of the 865 stuff will do the job, but um, I mean, you know, it gets, it gets to a point where you know what. But, a lot of these phones will play all of the latest games absolutely fine. <clears throat> Any recommendations on getting a Nokia 2.3? Uh, I haven't reviewed the Nokia 2.3. I get the feeling, obviously, as long as you want it for very basic stuff, like better web browsers and stuff like that, would be absolutely fine. 
Um, does the MEMC work well with anime or is there a difference between using it on normal series and on anime? So not really. Um, I've tried it on all kinds of Netflix stuff and I found that certainly a lot of the standard like movies and uh, anime shows and things like that, that, you can't really notice a difference in the smoothness. I guess because the things like anime, they're generally not very animated anyway. There's lots of bits where it's literally just a still of a character going... Arr, 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 talking for like three hours. They're in the middle of a fight. They'll literally just be talking at each other for ages. So obviously there's, there's not much smoothness uh, going on in there. I've watched the Fast and Furious 7, I think it was. They all kind of blend into one. The one where Jason Statham is the bad guy and not the good guy. Um, and again, like... Couldn't really notice much of a difference with it on or with it off. Where I really noticed the difference was the wildlife documentaries where there's lots of panning over forests, areas and shit like that. You can definitely notice with the panning there's a, there's a real smoothness uh, improvement there. Um, things like football documentaries as well, where you've got a lot of, uh, obviously, like, mother ball flying about the place. You can notice it's a lot smoother there. Um, but the general, like, the fisticuff stuff, the upfront stuff, movies, TV shows, things like that, doesn't really seem to make that much of a difference yet maybe it'll improve so uh but we we shall see great content says joy um i'll have what you're having so <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> if you say so uh so which flagships would you spend your hard and dosh on um to be honest like personally i'd go for like something like the zen like zen phone 6 from last year again it was one of my favorite i keep banging on about the zen phone 6 great smartphone 500 freaking pounds pretty much uh stock android Great camera tech, really nice screen, does everything you need to, strong performance, battery life, job done. You know, you don't need to spend like a grand on a, uh, a flagship or anything. Fortunately, I've been in the position where I don't need to buy a phone for quite a considerable time because I'm literally just gone from review phone to review phone all of the time. Uh, but, you know, it depends on your own personal needs. So I, I, I hate recommending one particular phone to everyone because that's pointless because everyone's got different needs. You know, you might just want to have a phone that's comfortable to hold and browse a bit of the internet or you might have a phone that's you know you want to play six hours of PUBG a day on so yeah so let's see how it goes uh, Russian Imperial Star is actually British but created for the Russian courts back in the day there you go fact of the day people a uh, good bit of Russian Imperial Stout <laughs> Jesus Christ is that the stuff that basically turns you blind after half a pint yeah some good shit what's the current phone you're using was the OnePlus 8 uh, I've now slapped it into the Realme X50 um, so yep, so stay tuned on some uh, some content on that, but lots more OnePlus stuff which I've shot in the meantime So I had those phones for just over a week, so plenty more on the go uh, Can you please say bloody? I love hearing it the Smiley face. Yeah, bloody 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 fucking hell Why am I still <laughs> why am I still doing this? Moto G7 power still good in 2020 question mark. Yes, it is still good. Like if you just want an everyday smartphone for browsing the web, playing with your apps, all that kind of shenanigans, good stuff. Respectable camera and obviously shit hot battery life. So it's great if you uh, can't be off to, to charge up every night. Great stuff. Uh, 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 your videos are amazing, mate. Love you. Love right back at you. And uh, yeah, no, I probably should bugger off right about now because I've been streaming for over two hours and I'm on this 9% shit. And that, let's face it, is making my throat fucking die can barely even speak anymore uh, but I want to say a massive thank you to all of you lovely people for joining me it's been uh, a lot of fun uh, chatting with you guys and I definitely want to get this on the go more often um, so hopefully don't even need a, uh, a phone launch because half the questions tonight have obviously not been about one plus eight smartphones but yeah just uh, hopefully every sort of month or so I could do a live chat and sort of catch up and stuff and I'll try and get some beers that aren't quite so killer strong and uh, if you are from the Fireband Brewing Company, send me more, please. And uh, yeah, definitely, uh, if you're from the Left Brewing Company, send me some of those. That would be great. And uh, yeah, no, thank you very much. And uh, please do join me for Textbook Weekly on the Fridays where I'll be uh, answering more of your viewer comments and uh, just jumping, banging on about shit. Um, so yeah, so uh, thank you. Lego one, Daniel. Thank you to everyone else. Uh, yeah, uh, Christy Derry, cheers. Um, cheapest flagship at the Snapdragon 865 in the UK. Uh, ooh. Good question. Possibly the Realme X50, but I know that's not quite out yet. Um, but yeah, hopefully soon. Uh, thanks to everyone else. Please answer what's yeah, I just have. Be it, be it at Firebrand in the UK. Ask these boys. Yes, do that. Every Everyone who's still around, <laughs> get on be it at Firebrand, firebrandbrewing.co.uk and ask them to send me beer. 
um, that would be great. <laughs> Bye everyone, and uh, yeah, me turn me up, hoping to review that one soon. Up, oh, one plus Z launch date? No idea, I'm afraid. And sober up, I will do. I'm gonna go drink a lot of water. I'm not any more nine percent beer, honest. And check back in the next few days for lots more One Plus content. There's going to be a shitload of uh, comparisons, full review, tips and tricks, all the good stuff. And I'll try and mix it up with some other stuff as well. Uh, so you guys don't get bored as shit of the One Plus stuff as well. Uh, so yeah, night night, Jonathan. Cheers, Chris. Enjoy the rest of your evening. You too, Humbella. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, just <laughs> just joined. Sorry, Scrag. I'm about to piss off, I'm afraid. I've been doing this for frigging two and a quarter hours now. Uh, but I one plus eight review will be coming Thursday. I'm home to review the pro next week. Hope that helps. Uh, Goldie Roger, happy night to you, Sue, uh, sir. LPS3, Elspy Congru. I don't know what that means, but <coughs> same to you, mate. <laughs> and uh, yeah, have a go stream to you too, as well. Hope that all works out well. And uh, yeah, no, thanks, guys. Honestly, massive, massive thanks just for, just for joining me. I'm just a. A silly, baldy northern twat rambling on in his uh, in his room, but uh, it's always great to have you find people uh, watch your fine stuff, and uh, and yeah, speak to you. oh uh, another Londoner, Christopher. Good night to you, sir. Uh, London prosper definitely. Um, yep, cheers. Thanks. Have a good one, everyone. Mike, Tim, everyone else. All the best, guys. Right, I'm gonna bugger off now. Bye, boy. Night, night. Love you. Where's the off button?